Ben! Tom! Ben! Tom! Well, it's weird for me to look at you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> why are the cameras reversed <laughs> like that? What? Um, it's what? fine. They we're just like ignoring each other. <laughs> 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 okay, sure. I like this. Tom! This system. I like this. <laughs> What's this? What's this guy? Oh, hello. Who's this little boy? It's me. It's me. I'm Ben. No, little little triangle. Oh, is that like a bit of monitor or something? You're, you're being replaced, Ben, by oh. a very small triangle. <laughs> oh, I always knew this day was going to come sooner or later. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, we had to bring something a bit more marketability, you know. <laughs> right. Bring in the eye candy. Mm. Very small triangle. Cool. Oh, I, I'll never understand the Zoomers. <laughs> Just what they're, I'm not going to argue. I'm sure it works. Me neither, baby. Me neither. Um, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm a little sleepy. Yeah. Jingle jamming. We've been jingle jamming all We've been night jamming long. hard, man. We've been jamming hard. And uh, yeah, no, it kind of kind of feels you. Mm. Uh, is, is the music distorted for you, or am I wearing bad headset? Um, I think I'm, your ears bad. My ears are bad. Sid, can you can you cut the game music in my head it's skipping and it sounds sounds awful um so yeah i'm all right how are you doing pretty good uh yeah also like a little little sleepy mm. went home last night mm -hmm. like oh i'll get an early night and mm. then watched fucking like four hours of youtube videos but has that's what you'd already done on stream. I know, I know. <laughs> so you were like, oh, I've come home from a half day's work of watching Simon's <laughs> important videos. Time to do it all again. <laughs> just watch, I don't know, just like, watch some more videos. Like um, that meme of the like German truck driver who comes home to play all <laughs> plays of Euro truck <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's basically that. And so um, they so did that and um, it was just stayed up too late. What a pleb. Naughty boy. I, I went to bed early because I had to get up early today. I bought my tree. A tree? I had to quickly buy a tree, bring it home, chop the end off, stick it up, and then run over to the office in time for this. Wow. I know. It's been a busy boy. How big was the tree? Bigger than me. That's how I measure things. Is, the, is, it, <laughs> is it bigger than you or smaller than you? Yeah. That must be really complicated for, I don't know, getting uh, just anything. Uh, no, people figure it out, you know? Well, I go into Subway, and they're like, foot long? And I'm like, smaller than me. Yep. I have the one smaller than me, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's never wrong. Right. No matter which size they give me, they're always right. Okay. You know? I, f I feel like, you know, if you're trying to buy, like, you know, sh shoes for, for your kid. Mm-hmm. Smaller than me. So they're smaller than me. But even, you know, I wear quite large shoes, mm. but those are still smaller than you. Exactly. And, but, you know, they're still not wrong. Sure, the measurement isn't wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's I a guess very, that unit. It's just, a very um, accurate measuring system. I've never been disappointed. I've never gotten something I didn't ask for. That's, that's fair. <laughs> Might not be what you want, <laughs> yeah. but it's not what you didn't ask for. Um, so it sounds like just the most boring game that we could play. Okay, everyone. <laughs> yeah. so let's, let's play another round of Is It Bigger Than Ben or Smaller Than Ben? <laughs> Here we have this object. What do you think? Yeah, but, you know, sometimes I'll go really far away from the camera. Uh -oh. And then it's hard to tell. Oh, so you're like um, Rigel. What? From Farscape. Ah, he's the little puppet, right? He's, he's the, the little ship. puppet boy. Okay. Yeah. That's you. Brilliant. I never watched that. All I know is he's a, he's a Jim Henson alien. Um, I watched it many years ago. Let's, go, let's, let's Google. Very so important. Uh, Rigel Farscape. And bam. Oh, excellent facial hair, sir. But he's in like a little, a little floating chair. He's like a little emperor. Um, I love him. And I'm pretty, he was like a pretty bad dude, though. Was he? Yeah. He looks delightful. No, he was, he was like... And haughty. Not very good. Oh, no, was he the baddie? No, he wasn't the bad guy. He was on, like, he was on the crew, but, like, I don't know. I think he was constantly trying to, um, you know, screw them, screw them over. Ah, like a little goblin. Like a little, just a little disgusting goblin boy. <laughs> who has wonderful mus mustache and eyebrows. <laughs> Is it a mustache when it's coming out of the, your cheekbones? Or is that oh, just like... I don't know. I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the rules are here. Lower eyebrows at this point. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because I guess like the mustache would have to be a little more here. But some people do get that mustache where they're like, 
further from the center, and it's weird. Yeah, but that's not even... Like, look how far away it is from his nose. <laughs> I don't know. We've got instantly derailed. Wow. Welcome wow. to the Jingle Jam 2021. Let's remind ourselves why we're all here, guys. Remind me, Ben. Currently, we have raised more than that. Refresh. Boom. 1.6 million pounds. Holy, holy moly. Which is amazing. They That's hit that target box. before we went live. What the heck? What a milestone. It's amazing. And what happens is you go here, you go to jinglejam.tiltify.com, and you can watch these two idiots, then you can scroll down a bit further, and if you donate at least £35, you get the Jingle Jam Games Collection. Steam keys for these 55 excellent games. There's so many. Whoa. There's so many. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And these are excellent games. They're all brilliant. I love them all. And you get a Yogscast merch discount plate and a display discount code. Displate. Display your displate today. Nice. nice. And then uh, scroll down here. Here are the charities. So look, you can see Cancer Research already fully funded. Wow. Way over, actually. That's Brilliant. a lot of funding. So you can obviously still donate to Cancer Research if you want to. It's a very good cause. But you won't get the Jingle Jam collection. Right, okay. You have to, if you want the collection, you have to donate to someone who hasn't yet hit their target. Okay, that's good. That way everyone everyone gets some charity. Everyone gets help. You know, we've got helping um, helping young people access sport. We've got um, helping autistic people. We've got helping uh, war veterans. We've got helping um, LGBTIQ youth. We've got mental health charities. We've got bionic arms for amputees. We've got um, end, ending violence and racism. That's a lot, but they're going to they're gonna do it. They're going <laughs> to give it a go. <laughs> yeah. We've got um, special effect, helping people game who otherwise wouldn't be able to without mm. their support. You know, people who um, can't use controllers easily. Yeah. Got like um, eye tracking software and things like that. We've got um, Save the Whales, we've got Save the War Children. There's so many good causes. Literally every cause on here is an excellent cause to support that genuinely helps people who need help. So thank you so much, everyone who has already donated. Give yourselves a round of applause. You're amazing. Big, big claps. Very well done. Very well done to you. Um. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to donate 35 pounds. It's a myth. Some people think what? you have to donate 35 pounds to get the bundle. Oh. You don't. You don't. You can. You can literally go, okay, look, bam, I want to help the war children. And it says, obviously, £35, because that's... Why wouldn't you also want 55 excellent games? Yeah, but over let, $800 worth of games. What? $875 worth of games. Wow. What a reward. But let's say maybe, you know, you can't afford it, which is fair enough. Mm -hmm. Or you've already bought the collection and you want to give more. You can literally change... Now, they forget how to do it. It says... Must be at least thirty-five pounds, but there's a way. You you just have to like remove the bundle, and then it lets you do it. And I should have practiced this first because there's definitely a way of doing it. Is it re do you refresh? There we go. Oh, you know, five pound. Let's give it a refresh, then. And then I'm not going to show you my bank details, but that's all you have to do. You just have to delete it, refresh, and then you can do it. Because I've seen some people saying it won't let me donate less than thirty-five pounds. Oh, uh, on the Reddit and on just, the just refresh. But you can. You just refresh the screen. Just refresh. And you can do it. So thank you so much. We've got... Um, uh, oh, my God. We've already had a whole bunch of donations. Look at all of this. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. We've got No Name Provided. Donated £300 to War Child. Which is amazing. Amazing. Thank you so very much. We've got um, Dag on Ear. Donated £150. Dag on Ear. Who says, Mott, Neb. <gasps> Last couple of years... I've been tough. I lost my mum to cancer and my dad had a stroke. He is now in a nursing home. Currently, trying to pick up my studies again. Man, but thank you for all the laughs. Oh my God. So this guy's been through an awful lot, but he still managed to find the time and the cash to donate to charity. Yeah, so that's really kind. Thank you so much. I'm glad thank that you. we can help in the most minor way possible. Stay strong. Oh my God. Um, we've also got... Um, Man, how do I pronounce that? Pyrikey? Pyrikey's donated £100. Pyrikey, sure. Tom Towner Tom and Prison Warden Ben, the best yogs. Boom, that's us. That's us. That's us. Howdy. Howdy, partner. Oh, someone just asked, do the stream keys run out? 
they, they can run out. There are 100,000, like the first 100,000 people to donate 35 pounds or more will get the games. After that, we have no more games to give. So, wow. get in, get in quick. How, do we know how many bundles have been sold so far? Um, I guess we can do an estimate, right? If we assume the amount rate, we'd like one six zero one nine five one point two three divided by thirty five. So we assume the average donation is thirty five pounds because some people obviously have donated more, like the people I just read out. Some people sure. have donated less. Hopefully, it averages out. So we've probably sold about wow forty five thousand bundles. Wow. So they're half. They're half gone. Half the bundles have gone, and it's only day four. It's only day four. God, it feels like we've been doing this for longer already. <laughs> well, we've been doing it for ten years, Tom. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, yeah, so you want to get in. And remember, you can buy it for your friends as well. You want to buy the keys? You can then send them off to other people. You can. You just get the keys in an email, and then you can give them to anyone you like. They do um, expire in January um, to prevent reselling. Oh, no, do they go off? They do. Unless you eat them immediately. You know, it's like your Christmas pudding. You know, you can keep it for a couple of days after Christmas, but you don't want to be eating that in January. No, that's a bad time. It's a bad time to be eating delicious treats. <laughs> eat them all now. Very good. Uh, so what are we doing today? What's going on? We're going to play... What is this? We're going to play a game from the collection, Tom. Where am I? <laughs> we're going to play this game. Sizable. <gasps> Sizable. I thought you'd like this one because... Like business goose. It's a bit like... Um, that game you played, Super Liminal? I played that. It's like, that was a puzzle game where you resized things, right? I'm all about resizing things. Oh my god, well if you like resizing things, get ready to play size up. Oh. Do you want to take the wheel? Boom! Let me take the wheel! Bonk. Okay. We've got a little tutorial here. You can figure it out. Pick up an object. Oh no. Can't pick up every object. Some things are stuck. Okay. You can probably grab a stone, I think. Oh, oh hello! Oh, oh. You embiggened it. Embiggen. Oh, look at this. It needs batteries. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, do you want to come in? Oh. You're like a little baby battery, though. <laughs> needs double A's. That ain't... That oh, ain't I wish dream. I could do this in real life at Christmas, and just go embiggen or in small and batteries. Yeah? Yeah, because sometimes with, with Boy, you know, he gets a toy for Christmas, and we've got the wrong batteries <laughs> for it. Oh... You gotta, you gotta. Is that still like a problem as much these days? Battery's not included. Yeah. Yeah. I think because there's like um, there's legal issues involved in packaging batteries because they can leak acid everywhere uh... if they're not stored correctly. So for like health and safety on children's toys. Oh, okay. What a pain. I know, right? Um. Uh... Bam. Okay. Tutorial completed. You didn't need any help with that. I got the the, the turtle. Oh, the turtle's like um, a little bonus thing you can find. Like a little special, a special extra friend. Okay. <gasps> oh, look, the tide comes in and out because <gasps> of the moon. Make him big in the moon. Um, oh, okay. Who are you? Are you coming over here? Oh my god, did we just get a thousand pound donor? I don't think that's who I'm collecting. Mathrafal just donated a thousand pounds to Open Bionic. Shadow of Mathrafal. <gasps> Howdy, partners. Been, Howdy. Been waiting for the Jingle Jam jerk-off to donate. Love you both. Maybe chat too sometimes. Oh, what a, what a lovely what a lovely message. Oh, my God. Rafael, thank you so much for your kind words and your generous donation. Oh. There's a chest inside the other chest. Oh. There's more chests. Oh. <laughs> it's like Russian stacking chests. Yeah. I love that. Um, are you going over here? I feel like I've got to plug you into something, my sweet battery boy. Yeah, no, that's not where battery go. Here. There you go. Oh. You made the lighthouse come on. Yeah, there's new And they made boat. a boat turn up. Nice. And the boat had the thing. Um, do you want to get bigger? I feel like I don't want the boat to crash. Um, okay, I've got to do something with clams, Ben. Clams. So are clams people or not? I'm no, not entirely crabs sure. Crabs are people. Clams are people. Right. I was mainly asking about clams, but thank you for filling me in on um, <laughs> crab as well. Where's my other clam? Have you tried opening the clams? Oh, there he is. I, I picked him up earlier. Can you open the clams? Oh, I didn't. Oh, oh it's got a pearl. 
pearls. I love it. Get out of here. Oh, it's got a Although, thing. I haven't found the turtle. Well, the turtle is only for bonus points. Yeah, but I want bonus points. Are you a completionist? I know, you know. You're, you're clicking the buttons. You want to get the good stuff. That's true. Um, where, where would the, if you're a turtle, where would you live? Um, in oh, the no. sea. Oh. Near the sea. <laughs> in the next level, oh, apparently. <laughs> my poor turtle. <laughs> Tom the Slav just donated a thousand pounds as well. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Tom the Slav. Holy moly. Games plus charity equals pog. It does. It really does. Like, who can complain about that as a setup? Oh my god. Games and charity. And generous donators. Very cool. All three together make pog face. Because oh. games plus charity on their own, no pog. Mm. It's nothing without the people willing to, yeah. to participate. Yeah, they're the, they're the real heroes. How do you redeem the Call of Duty Endowment Pack? Um, I think you have to do that on the Blizzard launcher. All the others are Steam codes, but the Call of Duty one, because that, that game's on the Blizzard store. I think you have to do it there. Oh. Or maybe on their website. I'm oh. not entirely sure. Okay. That makes sense. I haven't redeemed mine yet. Is the um, endowment pack to do with your peepus? <laughs> I assume so. Uh, I've literally never heard endowment used in any other context. <laughs> just, um, just checking. Just checking. Okay. Where, where am I? Where's my other boy? I, I've got the wind going. Is that a thing you do now? Like, because I remember playing Modern Warfare many years ago, and if you hit like level fifty, you could go into like prestige mode, reset all your perks, and get like the golden golden gun. Oh yeah, God! How many like how, how did you get the golden RPG? I remember that being very desirable, mm. and uh, it was quite. Um, I don't know. How many levels do you have to do to get the golden endowment? Oh, ah, the old uh, pocket <laughs> pistol. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. 69. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Level 69. That's the one. They never made it. Oh, I didn't try to grow your boys. Okay. Oh, right. my God. I'm confused. How do totem poles work? Boom, oh, like that. That's like making that. the puzzle. Ah, you opened, it opened the tomb. <laughs> it's a fun noise. I like the noises. They're very cool. Uh, right, where are we going? You? Oh. Oh. We're going camping. Yeah. I hope there's a good toilet nearby. Shrink the tent, Tom. We need to cuddle up. Oh, man, oh. that's too small. That's too small for us. We ain't, we ain't fitting in there. Um, I think in the game of, is it bigger than Ben or smaller than Ben, I am definitely bigger than you, Ben, and uh, we're going to be running out of space quick. It's going to be getting very cozy. Oh, Ooh. oh, there's an axe. An axe in a tree. Yeah. That's got to be a thing. On, oh, oh, the Horn of Gondor. Gondor calls for aid. aid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I spent the whole of... Um, I watched the Lord of the Rings films before I read the books, right? Fucking hell, mate. And I spent the whole film of Fellowship of the Ring expecting, like, when Boromir blew that horn, for it to be like a magic horn and to do something cool. And then at the end, when he's just like, Hark! Hark! The hobbits are in trouble! Hark! And it really not only wasn't magic, but also probably got him killed and drew more Urukai. Yeah. Although I'm pretty sure it is magic, though. It is a magic horn. Isn't it yeah. like it, you can, like it will all, like it will, the sound will travel to a certain place or something. Oh, what? So Denethor's just sat there going, He's like, well, you're too far away from me to help. that horn? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the real reason he went mad? Just something. <laughs> just kept hearing horn. I thought there was some, it was like, I had like a thing. Maybe it was just like a myth, a legend. Um, who am I looking for? Oh, here we go. Varagorn, that's a very Lord of the Rings name, says, quoting, tipped with silver and inscribed with ancient characters. It was said to be audible in any place in Gondor when winded. Something like that. That's vaguely... Oh, even if you're not in Gondor yourself. Surely you've got to blow it in, in Gondor. And then it can be heard all over Gondor. Wow. What an asshole. 
Oh yeah, like he yeah. Just when, woken when he woke up, gets, everyone and got. Do you know the time difference in Gondor? When like, he gets holy drunk shit. and just late at night, just <laughs> blah, 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 blah. and <laughs> yeah. everyone's like, "Why, God, Boromir, stop!" <laughs> then just the shades come down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, it like really winds you up, huh? Oh. Oh my god, I'm moving. I'm moving out of Gondor. I don't want to just be woken up every morning. Although, like, God, they could like abuse that power real good. Like, if you came up with, um, if they used it for like Morse Morse code. Oh yeah. Because if you can hear it everywhere immediately. Yeah, it's like better than like a TV broadcast. Yeah, that, well, it's like f- technically faster than like the internet, right? The speed of sound. Is but is it cheating the speed of sound? Or, I, or is like, there a lag? When he blows it very far away, does it travel at the speed of sound? Oh, so they don't hear it for like a minute or two if he's like on the oh, other side that of might the make sense. continent. Okay. Okay. Um, what haven't I resized? You? Do you want to be like dusk? He could do out like a weekly podcast on the horn. It's very true. You just have to listen to a podcast, but in Morse code. code. <laughs> yeah. God, I... Boop, 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 boop. I bet someone has done that. I bet that is a thing that exists. Uh, Welcome to my true true crime, crime podcast. Oh my god! Who boom. Stole the ring from Frodo. Oh god! Spoiler alert: It wasn't me. Wow. Uh, yeah, Boromir's true crime podcast. <laughs> Yeah. Hate it. But the thing is, even if you wanted to listen to that podcast, you'd have to wait till the honking had stopped to then read the transcript. Oh, unless yeah. Unless you could trans, unless you could di- like translate it in real time. Mm. God, it would drive you crazy. I'm sure some can translate in real time. I feel like I need to put something on this fire. You, you, you have to do something with that fire, Tom. What about the um, the treasure chest? Can that burn in the fire? <gasps> oh, you can move the fire. Oh, wow. I didn't even try that. There's a flag. Have you done anything with the flag? The flag was just like sort of uh, showing me there was a cave here. Oh. Oh, can I, oh, I can melt the snow. Oh, melt the <gasps> snow. And I found the turtle. Turtle. Okay. Okay. This is good to know. Yeah, kind of. Um, this feels like a, a complicated thing to pick up. It'd be like trying to pick up like a lasagna that wasn't in a tray. <laughs> yeah. Just, I'm sure possible, <laughs> but sketchy. But real difficult. It's like well, that's that's Benga Extreme, <laughs> holding all the wooden blocks. <laughs> yeah, at one time. At one time. Um, while they burn. <laughs> but uh, we uh, we did it. We got them. We did it. Good job. Man, but make the bird big. Not big bird. Oh, big bird. This one's called season, so I bet if you fiddle the sun, it changes. It changes season. Oh. Oh, autumn and winter. All the seasons. Oh. Oh, I'm making... Making s- snowmans. A snow, snowy boy. I don't see any carrots. So is it really a snowman? Nice. Oh, hello. Bing. Nice. Do you, want to, do you want double head? You know where the other head goes, Tom. <laughs> Sir, please. <laughs> please. Can we make two snowmans? Oh, maybe. Uh, that might be a mechanic. Do you have a snow child? Snow wife? Uh, it's a hidden hidden head. Hidden snow. Although, is he going to die? He melt. He melt in the summer. Oh, but I got a hat. And inside the hat ah! was the boy. Wow. Good job. Oh, hello. Okay, so we just need the duck. Uh, oh, oh, looks like a turtle. Okay, so then we'll oh, the bird tree. going tree, and then it, oh, make the leaves fall off in the autumn. Oh, that's that's smart. In the winter, and he's made a nest. Wow, and he laid a. Laid a block. God, <laughs> yeah. that's gonna hurt. That's Oof. gonna chafe on the way out. <laughs> yeah. A giant, sharp-edged uh, obelisk. <laughs> Oof. Oof. It's a different version of um, 2001: Space Odyssey, but pooping out, pooping out bricks. Dun dun dun! <laughs> squawk squawk! <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna be squawking a little more than that, Ben. Uh, oh, Pepsi. Bepsy. Bepsy. I thought that was just a Harry meme. I need, um... I did, need the, did a bleb write this game? I think so. Did the blebs make a game? No, blebs can't make games. I'm sure they could. They could if they wanted to. 
Okay, what am I doing? I'm looking for a Pepsi and a car. Can I have a cocker and a Pepsi? Is that what cocker means? I assume so. I don't know what else it, it would mean. I thought it meant the other kind. It's a little one. <gasps> oh. Ah. Coin. Oh. I'll put coin in machine. Yeah. Get a Pepsi. Well, you... Uh... No, I need more coin. Uh. Oh. No, yeah, you need more than one. One is... One is... Uh, uh. Two is what you want. Hmm. You need to put them in at the same time, I think. Can you embiggen the coin? Okay, I can turn the machine off. Oh, I can! That's smart. Yeah. Oh, no, you've got to turn the power on. Yeah. Oh. Nice. You got your Pepsi. Oh! See you, sir. <laughs> sir. Oh. <laughs> Please. Oh, turtle. Pepsi turtle. I came back. Perfect. Oh, but no, I need a two, a, a two coin. To get my um, to get your thing, my obelisk. Man, so good at games. Oh my god, Tom! Look at you so, go. So good. Too good at games. You might just go back and get your turtle oils. Prove your worth. Prove your worth. Oh, it's the roller coaster. Uh oh. Watch out, that bird. Oh. Um. Chonk. Chonk. In, in, oh, hmm. Something missing. Ah! Oh, they just got to do a sweet jump. Oh, can you embiggen it while they're going to give them some extra, um... Oh. Give them some air while he's on the track. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Be the lift. There you go. Yay! Very strong. Um, a swinging boat ride. They always make me feel kind of, kind of ill. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Uh, balloons. I have a little balloon, maybe. So, and uh, what's in the garbage? It's a little garbage <laughs> garbage turtle. <laughs> garbage turtle, my favourite kind of turtle. I think I'd be more into um, uh, you know, pests if like they were nicer animals. Yeah, like in Futurama. Like I love that all the vermin are owls. Owls, exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, see ya. Da -da -da -da. And I've got to wait. Okay, uh, wait on the button. Fries. Can you test your strength on the bell? Bong. <laughs> You're going to have to be stronger than that. Bing. Bong. Oh, we broke it. Oh, God. Okay, we hit too hard. We swung. <laughs> that's what you want, though. So good. You, that's the aim of the game, isn't it? If you're at a fairground test your strength machine, you want to break that fucker. Yeah. I and mean, that's the challenge, right? Not like, when we can, like, ping him off the top. Yeah, break, break the bell. Wow. Send it into space. Uh, oh, God. Oh. Okay. I'm going to meet you, right? Um, oh. Oh. Sir? Saturn? Sir? Oh, they go faster when they're smaller. Can you get them to, like, smash into each other? Break the rings? Maybe. Uh, Maybe. Uh, what is this? What is the beep? Beep boop. Come. Rocket. Rocket time. Sir, please. This one, much harder. Yeah, I don't really, uh, not, not great at space, to be honest. Oh, look, these guys, are they... Oh, you've got to get them lined up. I see. There you go. Very good. Oh, oh, oh my God. What the hell? It's laser time. Sir, hold your fire. <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to destroy the ring. Do we want to kill Saturn? Yeah, it thinks it's better than us, Tom. With those rings. Those rings. Oh no, oh. bigger. Oh. Yeah, that's right. the biggest, biggest, oh. biggest boy go. Oh. Oh. There we go. Now it's aiming at Saturn. Perfect. Okay. I think you need to shrink Uranus. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look, lockdown's been unkind, Ben. <laughs> Put on a little, little, a few extra rings down there. 
Uh, nice. Oh my God. Take no, that, Saturn. No applications is saying, the hardest part of the bundle is typing in all your Steam keys to redeem them. Whoa! Um, please tell me you know that you can copy and paste them. <laughs> no applications. Please. Please. Please copy and paste. I, I hope you are joking. Do not type out 50 Steam keys that are like 16 characters each. Oh, God. That is nightmare fuel, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Do you want to chop him? But you can only, um, you can, Steam started to, like, if you redeem more than, like, 20 in an hour, it, like, locks you out for a, a couple of hours. Yeah. You've got to sort of do them. I had to do mine in two batches. You've got so many games that you can get that um, Steam can't handle it. You break Steam. Just too many games. Too wow. many games. So many games. What is that? What is your boy up to? A little bat. How are we trapping him? With a vine? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh God, is he dead? Well, we'll just shrink him. We'll worry about him later. And you? No. Uh, Brumbo has donated three hundred pounds to special effect. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you, Brumbo. Brumbo. It says, "I'm glad it's the best time of the year again." The Jingle Jangles jerk off stream. As every year, I wish you guys and everyone else the best in chat. I'm sure it'll be a blast, like always. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Brumbo. It's hard for me to be a jerk in this game, unless I just sort of randomly. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's great. That's, take the wheel. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's, a, <laughs> that's a mechanic I want. That's <laughs> yeah. something I want going on. <laughs> How to ruin lovely game. <laughs> um, where? Woo. Please. Not like this. <laughs> Not like this, Ben. <laughs> Where's Key? Where's Key? Where's Key going? Oh, there. Oh. If we've got a spooky map, do you think we're going to get a Christmas map too? Oh, probably. Yeah, if we're going through the year. Um, hey, look, here's your Christmas windmill. Golf. Ah, golf. Tube golf. Tube golf. My favorite kind of golf. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. we got to, like, move move people around around the map. You, like this. Do you want to come in, sir? Oh. Extra windmills. Oh, turtle! I saw a turtle. Okay, right. My current pipe pipe system ain't no good. Hmm. Where do you want to be going? That way? Just into the... Oh, that's how you push. Ding! Nice. Very good. Okay, right. They've been used. Can the clouds do stuff? Oh, probably. They probably blow the windmills, oh, right? Oh, very smart. Um, so that goes through the windmill and hopefully hits your boy. Has something gone wrong. Oh, no, here oh, no. it's just moving slow. He's coming. Yay! And then... Just that. Is Perfect. that good? Looks good to me. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. We've also had a donation from Palgemma. Oh. We donated sixty-nine pounds. Sixty-nine. Wow, that's the that's the that's the double sex number. Double sex number. I say much love uh, to all the yogs and yognauts. The streams have been great so far. Sarah confusing all the boomers last night was hilarious. What the hell? But waited for my favourite boys to donate. <laughs> Thank you, Paljama. I didn't get it! <laughs> I didn't understand a lot of the TikToks. TikTok's complicated. <laughs> um, I think we're overthinking them. Yeah. That's my... I didn't understand any of them, but I think maybe that's no, the point. They're wrong. We're not wrong. No, yeah. All children are stupid. The TikTok's <laughs> wrong. The TikToks are wrong. Um, Nothing wrong with us. No, we, we know what's going on. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're gonna make like a little stairway. Oh, the door's opened. I did it. Oh, you've made the. This is like um, that 
monastery on the top of uh, Mount Skyrim. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Hrothgar. Uh, how am I rotating you? Oh. Like that. Uh -oh. You wake the dragon, Tom! Dagron. Don't wake the dragon! Dagron here. No, my tree! <laughs> what the heck? What a joke. Um, and then something to do with bamboo. What does bamboo want? Sir? Bamboo? Bamboo grow fast. Bamboo does grow fast. But... So does everything else in this game. Oh. Mm. What, what am I bambooing? I'm bamboozled, Ben. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm not sure. Which one's a stumper? Yeah, maybe we can kill the dragon. <sighs> okay, he didn't care. My only weapon. My <laughs> <laughs> weapons are useless, Tom. It's the mighty Dagron. Huh. There's probably a system. Probably can a... You, does moving the stairs change how much the... Um, the bamboo grows? Because that's that down arrow that's pointing at the bamboo that... Maybe that's a clue. That... I like your, I like your logic. I like your thinking. There's something going on there. Is it under there? Ha ha! Oh, it's behind the bamboo! We got it. Very we did good. it. So good. There's a oh. whale. You can help save save whale. You can with Whale and Dolphins Foundation. It's one of the charities in the Jingle Jam. We can save whales together. Um, who doesn't want to? Who doesn't want to save a whale? They um, they named one Honeydew. Oh. The Whale and Dolphin Foundation. There's a dolphin out there that's been tagged, and they they let us know every year how he's getting on. For some reason. They didn't want to do the tie-in to Whale Lords and name a whale Monster Dick. Really? <laughs> yeah. Monster Dick, despite Duncan, what did Duncan want to call it? Balti. Balti. <laughs> Every episode. Like, it's actually called Balti. And no, um, Monster Dick the Whale. Yeah. I feel like they missed the trick. I think everyone would have really enjoyed um, old I know. Monster Just Dick. think of like the synergy. You know, we had a whale in Minecraft. They have a whale in real life. Uh, they just missed that that integration. <laughs> oh, monstro dick. We should have a poll in chat. What is the whale's name, chat? Is it is it Balti? Yeah, or what is it people monstro think? dick? What did the people decide? Because we never let the people speak on, on that. It uh, was never decided. Can if have we got a mod who can get a poll going? A lot of people are a lot of people are into a uh, Balti. Um <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure why, where, where Balti came from. Can I do world. a poll? Can I, do I have the power? Uh, you can do, you can do whatever you like, Ben. Oh, I can, I can. What? We're actually logged in. Whale, Lord, <gasps> name. So, um, Balti, or Monstro Dick. Ooh. And we'll have this running. So I only vote if you watched Whale Lords. If you remember that old Minecraft series, content does not meet guidelines. Um, oh. There we go. Are you not allowed to have votes I've, about... I've, I've got... Uh, just, just not... Chain... Monstro... Yeah. Rick. Nice. Monstro Rick. Can you, uh, can you crack the code there, people? Um. <laughs> okay. I need my whale. I need my whale to like. Oh, can I put the cork in him? Oh, don't cork a whale, you monster! How could you? Oh, he doesn't oh. like it. Oh, but he was hiding. Oh, he didn't like it. Oh, gotta be faster. Gotta be quick. Boom! Whoa. Boom! I got it. I got your treats. <laughs> Is that how whales work in real life? Yeah, put a cork in, open the mouth, <laughs> um, and then you can like uh, get their hidden treats that are kept inside. Don't do that. Don't don't hurt the whale. Oh my god! Look at the look at you guys. Like three thousand people vote Balti, and three thousand people are voting Monstro Rick. Oh my god! I feel like most of the polls that we've done <laughs> come out at like just 50 percent. Oh, hang on, more people are voting than ever watched Whale Lords. This oh is impossible. Oh my god! 
That's very true. <laughs> oh, wow. Catapult that castle. Uh -oh. You're smashing it up, Tom. Wow, this castle. What if we need the castle? Well, we're after their delicious bread. <laughs> uh, take that, castle. Um, someone's got an old... Sword. Oh, I see. Oh my god, I don't think we're ever gonna. S I want. I was hoping this vote, this vote would solve the naming issue to, for all time. This would be the end of the debate. Turtle. But, Turtle. Um, but no, the people are refusing this, this to be settled. Well, wow, still, it's just like fifty-fifty. Yeah, yeah. People just like to <laughs> like to see balance. Balance in all things. I think I may have let people vote with points. That was my mistake. Oh. So, you know, we can really abuse abuse the economy here. Well done, chat. You did it. 10,000 each. We'll never know that whale's name. We'll never know. Wow. <laughs> wow. <Just> so, <laughs> yeah, uh, we need to uh, do a recount. Um, is this where the sword go? Oh. Wow. Yes. See ya. Smooth move. Oh man, this is great. I'm just like, just playing. <laughs> just playing game. Um, it's a really chill, sweet game, isn't it? Isn't it cute? Isn't it cool? Isn't it amazing? Oh, oh my God! If only that was a really easy way for me to get this game, Tom. I want to play. Oh, Ben, but you can. What do you mean? If you donate 35 pounds or $47 to yogscast.com, Tiltify.com forward slash loads of games. And then <laughs> you get. Uh, there'll be a link in chat. Um, you can. Um, but £35 seems like a lot for one game, Tom. No, sir. Not at all. You get over 35 games. Um, it's closer to uh, 50. 55. 55. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, but 55 games. That sounds like that would cost at least $875. So, that's how much you'd think. But no! <laughs> uh, actually, um, it only costs £35. Oh my god! That's right. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, you can, um, you can get this. That is actually an amazing deal. And not only is it an amazing deal where you get so many games for so little money, well, that money goes to charity. All of it's going to charity. Isn't that amazing? Who who doesn't want that? You get games, you help charity. It's, it's just, Everyone wins. It's a win, 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 win. That's the. It's a classic quadruple win. Uh, <laughs> One of those classic quad wins. Quad win, exactly. Oh um, my god, we just had Mac Cloud. Gave one thousand three hundred pounds to wow. Open Bionics to help amputees have. Fucking rad cybernetic arms. Very cool. It's amazing. And they just say, to, to Ben and Tom. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I mean, that wasn't to us. McLeod. That was to Open Bionics. Um, but we appreciate the sentiment. Yeah, Open Bionics. Amazing. Oh, Would, I it, have to kidnap the cow. That's what aliens do. Oh, of course they do. To probe they it. Probe them. <laughs> Probe the cow. How much can aliens learn about from asses? So much, Ben. So much. Do they have like a rectal-based culture? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly how it works. Um, I like to think that they're artists. And they come back with like deep rectal scans and like present it in their art galleries. And they're like, look at the composition. And they're just... <laughs> oh, bro, another, another masterpiece. Another masterpiece. Where do you get these from? Um, yeah. Holy, holy moly. Um... I kind of uh, kind of into that. that. Sort of makes sense. Mm. I can't think of any other explanation. I feel like the limits of ass science. If you can travel across galaxies, what else are you doing that for? Yeah, but maybe they've got like some tech that um, you know we don't know about. Mm -hmm. You know, like they can uh, they can Assassin's Creed you, go back oh. through all of your ancestors' history because they right. found out there's something in like. The fucking sphincter. Right, so it's like a fingerprint. It's like fingerprint. Fingerprint almost unique, but you know what is unique? Bumhole. 
bumhole print. And uh, <laughs> right. yeah, it can tell you like so much information about the past. <laughs> right. and wow, you can relive your life. Well, the uh, aliens, they're doing it to like prime for a takeover, right? Oh. And wow. it turns out. So they're going to use the animus to just bore us all to death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take yeah. Lots, the of, world. lots of just like walking around. <laughs> right. um, uh, but yeah, yeah. But it uh, turns out, you know, the ancestors of all these great people throughout history that they wanted to study, mm -hmm. you know, who have a Julius Caesar, mm -hmm. uh, Toby Lerone. Toby Lerone. Um, they all ended up moving to, you know, very, very rural parts of America. <laughs> right. All of the ancestors all ended the up there. All the great people, all the people who, yeah, who's, who came from very great people many thousands of years ago. Yeah. They all moved to Hicksville, USA. That's right. In the 90s. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's how it works. Because they've really trailed off since everyone got a camera in their pocket. UFO yeah, sightings. they're not quite as popular now, are they? Yeah, maybe the aliens got everything they needed to know in the 90s and stopped coming. Around the same time we all got video cameras in our pockets, which is just a fascinating coincidence. Crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Just wild. <laughs> just wild. <laughs> okay, oh, my God. We've got a volcano. Oh. There's stoneheads. Oh. Oh. Stone heads. Oh. oh, egg. Easter Egg Eggs. Island. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Because <laughs> it's Easter Island. Sir, please. Nice. I like eggs. Oh, okay. Does that mean you want to be the biggest? Oh, okay. Do you think there is a thing about that? Like, the size of the heads determines the importance of the god? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though I feel like this. But I think these things here, like yeah. one is the smallest, two is the biggest, three is in the middle. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> that gets a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, there's a fourth one, though. Oh, there's a fifth one. There's too many. What? I confuse. They tricked us, Ben. Um, can we drop things on those pads? I think the heads and the scales are unrelated. Can we get like a rock? Put it on the scale? I don't know. Or can we click the scales? Oh, uh, maybe we need to find like the fourth, the fourth pillar. Oh, the fourth pillar. Um, well, you, you want to drop stuff in volcanoes, right? Oh, yeah. What's the point of having a volcano if you're not using it as a garbage dump? Like just a big uh, disposal, disposal thing. Hmm. That's what I do in Minecraft. Because they're playing music. The things. I've got no game sound. Oh. I'm not going to be able to help you with the music challenge. Okay. Oh, he had an egg. Oh. Turtle. Oh, I was going to drop the turtle in the thing. Oh, it's got a drink. Can we pour the drink and make obsidian on the, on the volcano? Oh, no, please warm it up. No. Just heat that bad boy. The cork? Cork, the bigger. Bigger. Nice. More. Oh. He popped his load. Amazing. Found oh. him. Hello. Okay. What is this? Oh, there's been a, like, there's like a swell in the music, Ben. Oh. There is another obelisk that popped out. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. Okay, right. It's music time. Okay. I, Famously... I know help. Not my forte. <laughs> right. uh, um, Sil... Sinilintu. Sinilintu. Has donated 500 pounds. Special effect. It says, Bon Tem, happy Festag. Happy Festag to you, sir. Thank you so much for your generous donation to charity. And um, John has donated four twenty sixty nine. Ayo. Hey. And he says thanks for putting the, um, this on every year. It's the highlight of the season. God, well, thank you, sir. Thank you for donating. Um, Hi, Lord Spectra. I'm sorry we haven't read your donation message yet. 
we've had 180 messages in the last 40 minutes. <laughs> so I, I can't say we're going to be able to read every message out. But we're doing our best. I'm so sorry. Um, how I'm much so would sorry. the games bundle normally cost? I'm trying to convince my friends with stats. It would normally cost 875 US dollars. Which is a lot of dollars. If you bought everything when it wasn't on sale. That's a lot of bucks. It's a lot of bucks. It's good value. Very much so. Very much. Tell your friends. Tell them. Yeah. Come. Take part. Join the Festarg season. Especially because a whole bunch of the games in the bundle are excellent multiplayer games. Yes. And then you can all play together. More. Over Christmas. More friends with the games is means more good. Mm-hmm. Who who don't who don't love that? Oh, that's not. So. Apparently the whale was called Madras. It was revealed in the last episode. Really? I don't remember that. I don't remember that either. Get I, out of here, bud. I remember everyone going to Pleasure Island at the end. Oh, yeah. God, man, building Pleasure Island. Oof. <laughs> yeah. That took, that took a while. Uh, is he going to be up here? Tiny little, little spike. No, it doesn't okay. look right. I think Snack, Snack's on top. No, Snack. There we go. Oh wow! What is this? It's full of goodies. Uh, oh God! Can you put more bits in? <gasps> oh, Snack, hungry Snack. Okay, love him. I like him a lot. Uh. Hmm. Oh. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, There's layers, Tom. Layers. So many layers. Oh. Total. Like an onion. Uh. Push that along. Bonk. Got it. Okay. Done with snack. Please return to your your homeland. Uh, oh. Oh. We require additional triangles. Here we go. What are you? Nice. Oh my god, so good. Oh my Our god, games. you're so good at games, Tom. Oh my god. Wait. Despite you be oh, okay, this might have to be the last. I was going to say we have to stop and play another game, but we we have to do the dinosaur level first. Okay, we can be uh, be dinosaurs. Uh oh, a time machine. Oh no, this is going to be a compli oh, complicated. Oh wow, this is science now. You just plug it in. Oh, oh okay, that goes to the future. Flying, Flying cars. cars. Okay. Boom. Okay, this this that seems. Oh wow, is this what the f is this future? Future sport. Yeah. Just destroy flying cars. Yeah, just I'm into <laughs> it. hit and have cars hit targets. Boom. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got it. Brilliant. Okay, right. I've seen the future. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. No. It's the Medusa. Okay. This is oh, cool. okay. We've got to turn something to stone, I guess. Uh. Bonk. Can we bonk it with a hammer? I want to bonk. Hmm. Do I need to get something from a different timeline? Oh, maybe. Yeah, try try the oh. dinosaurs. Wait, oh. this tiny little, this little oh, boy. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. Uh, nice! Oh, you got a... Take that! Blammo! The pillar was inside Medusa <laughs> all along. <laughs> the pillar was the gorgons we killed along the way. Uh, but what is that bit? Yeah, that might come in handy later. Okay, See what? what Dinosaur Land has to say for itself. I'll have some food. Aww. Do you remember when the kids are in the tree and the dinosaur sneezed on them? Yeah. Amazing. Vegisaurus. Um, okay. Are you going to do like a little plop for me? Hmm. Oh. Oh. There you feed go. Him, feed him more orange. What's the big old... 
Can we plug up the volcano with an Oh, no, it's, it's, it's like amber, Ben. Oh, it's like, right, like Jurassic Park. We just Jurassic Parked. Right, and then, and then hammer time. It's hammer time. Bonk. Oh, I've okay. got to change. There we go. Try that again. Bonk. Nice. Very Boom. good. So good at games. I did it. I did it. Well done. Oh, my God. So there you go. I mean, I could sit here and play this all day, to be totally honest. But we don't want to spoil it for you guys. Yeah. We're barely, we're not even halfway through. So you guys can still have fun and figure out all the levels yourselves. Yeah. Give it a go. Give it a play. It's really fun, really chill, super relaxed. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe you can find some of the old, uh, the old tortoises I can, oh, yeah. I can get. We missed a couple. And so, um, gotta, gotta go and give it a go. Well, very good. Okay, um, we've got some other games we're going to play next, but I think we're going to have a, a, little, a little break for a couple of minutes while we sort it out, and uh, we'll see you in five minutes. Unless Sid, Sydney's not here, and then we, unless we, that means we can't go on a break. Oh, he is here. Oh, he is here. Okay, can we just have a little, a little five-minute break to set up the next game? <gasps> no. <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> see you in five. Ben! Tom! We're back! Um, Ma'am, because we said we were going to take a five-minute break, and I saw some people like, Yog's five minutes. Not on this watch. Not on my watch, Tom. Not on Ben's watch. Um, it was actually a five-minute break. I had to sort out my audio. That's, that's the real reason. Yeah, we had um, some minor, minor um, ben, ben audio problems. But we're, but we're back, baby. We are. Um, and uh, we're here playing... A new game. We a are. We're game. playing Heaven's Vault. But it's also in the bundle. A story game about an Egyptologist going on an archaeological dig from the creators of 80 Days. Remember wow. when Simon Lewis played that? Yeah, man, I played it. You played it? Yeah. Oh, man. It's super cool. It is very um, cool. I love that game. So I haven't um, actually like, played this game yet. I'm very excited. Yeah, so I remember this game coming out and being like, I want to give this a go. Despite mm -hmm. it being about language. Um, mm. Famously, Tom, no good at read. Yeah, me, me no read good neither. Um, but just like seemed like a really cool idea. Stories don't have tidy beginnings. Uh, discovering languages and having to like piece together present. the mysteries with um, as you find out more more mm. text and stuff. Okay, I guess um, we probably won't be able to get too far into it today then. Yeah, I don't but, think uh, we're going to be uh, completing this um, unless you want to do some cool speedrun strats. Mm -hmm. um, Something that brings the past. Oh yeah, speedrun the story game. That's my <laughs> yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's how you have the most fun. Just go to the last page. The end. <laughs> Done. Next story. <laughs> yeah. Um. Um. You worry too much. It's not much further. Careful, you don't roll backwards. It's, hey. I'm going number two. That, that's my usual response. Oh, it might have to goofed our audio again. One oh. second. What the heck? Sir, please. Oh, no, it's a tick. You didn't tick. Oh, no, okay. It is tick. Okay, it's a tick. There we go. That's what I have to tell Wait. my boy. We're nearly there. Stop complaining. What kind of, I don't want a robot that sasses me. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> of it's course close. you do. The best robots are sass bots, aren't they? Yeah, like you want to. You want someone who's gonna be a bit of fun, right? You don't want just like. That's that. Bitty bitty bitty. Well, if they do that, that's suddenly a fun little quirk. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you want you want like a bit of a bit of back and forth. Oh. The robot from Rogue One. <laughs> I think you mean K two S O. K two S O. He's a good robot. Um. Okay, something's going wrong here. It's got very jittery. Yeah, okay, just going through the sand. I feel like I've already got a sass spot though, Tom. What, me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are glasses, Ben. They're not like my cool, cool robot. You're robo like a bionic eyes. man. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <sighs> oh. Um, yeah, is this bricked up to keep people out or to keep something in? Oh, God. If you ever have to ask that. That's always a bad, that's a bad time. Yeah. Something written here in ancient script. What is it? Ooh, we can read it. Oh God, are we gonna have to actually- Can use, you read that? Use skill. Can you um, read it? 
No. It's like a pyramid coming out of the water. Mm -hmm. um, a guy stood next to some long grass. Mm -hmm. And like a snake with two people. Oh, snake friend? Snake friend. Perfect. I hope so. Maybe snake friend is inside the bricked up wall. Yeah, are they that good a friend if they've been bricked up inside a... In a place? <gasps> oh, maybe snake friend did something bad. Uh-oh. Uh, some weeks earlier. My story begins on Iox. That was where I met the robot. Huh? Robot Origins? <laughs> Has it goofed our audio again? Yeah. It keeps, it keeps going back to wrong resolution. Oh, please, sir. Please. Please, sir. Not like this. What do, we, what do we do to deserve such a thing? Such rec reckless hate. Hello, robot. So that robot, you got to watch out for him. Already yeah. conquered. Oh wait, no. He They've got ramps. Oh. oh. I thought he'd like he could deal with stairs. Yeah. Uh, okay. Someone's very anxious for our arrival. Um, who are you? I want to know more about robot. Is he got a holographic head? I am a robot, mistress. As is apparent. <laughs> this way. I didn't ask what you are. I said, who are you? Hey, Given robot. What is your name, robot? Is it intended to be a joke, mistress? <laughs> no. Just tell me your name, fucking robot. Robots do not have names. Uh, we are, as I understand it, interchangeable. Oh, okay. Well... Never met a robot before. Uh, how kind of you to say so, mistress. Okay. So, uh, did your mistress say what she wanted? Yes. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Okay, no. What are you actually going to tell me? She said she wanted you. This way. You should know. Uh-oh. Had enough of I your was sass 15 robot. when my Ari rescued me from the slums of Elbereth and brought me here. I'd never seen such luxury or such kindness. I still don't know why she did it. Okay, Professor? Alia, there you are. Come in. I hope the robot didn't sass you too much. <laughs> They're interchangeable, you know. <laughs> I'll have him destroyed. Do you want this robot to wait outside? And why would I want that? Thank you, Professor. <laughs> because he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's cool. He's friends. <laughs> he's a cool, cool robot friend. Tell me what you want. And you're as delightful as ever, I see. Well, I won't waste your precious time. You're our expert on history. What do you make of this? Um, well, I've picked up a thing or two from Sassbot. That's a brooch! <laughs> okay, just keep it literal. <laughs> yes, Arya. <laughs> but I didn't summon you halfway across the nebula to tell me that. Uh, it looks old. Empire period. <gasps> the device is an eagle and sun. One of the scholars sent this brooch to me. Janaki Renba. Do you know him? Um... None of these feel appropriate. Let's go with nice present. Oh. Look at the detail before I throw you out. Uh, there's ancient markings. Ancient Can we read markings. them? Just all the squirlies. Just a lot of swirly boys. Okay. Eagle wing bridge. Oh, so we're going to gather clues and use them to decipher the language. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the idea. So this means holy or friend. Um, could, could mean friend. What do you think? What about this one? This one could mean beloved or emperor. Well, if this, if this one means friend, this one could mean beloved. Because they're similar, aren't they? That's true. 
Um, whereas holy and emperor, or friend and emperor, don't seem as related. That's true. Because essentially this is... Although they did think it was from the empire period. Well, that's true. And it could be that the emperor is like a holy position. So there would be holy elements to the word emperor, right? I kind of, um, kind of, kind of like how, um, your, your first one. Let's go with, uh, beloved. I'm guess I'm just guessing. I mean, I don't really know anything about this language. Friend, beloved. Uh, continue. I'm only guessing. But I'm only guessing. I don't know if this helps you at all. Renba wasn't the kind to send me trinkets. There's some significance in this brooch, but I don't know what. Janiki told me he'd found something. That was more than a month ago. Janiki isn't like you. He's an Eoxian. Through and through. You mean he's soft? Oh, God, well, I think you're the rude one. I think so, actually. <laughs> I mean, he's reliable. Something persuaded him to go to Marcy, of all places. I can't go hunting the nebula, but you can. Uh, oh, we can now go to um, the pass. I'll see what I can dig up. Nice. Get I it. bet archaeologists say that all the time. <laughs> and they always laugh. Yeah, and they, yeah that joke <laughs> never gets old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, robot. We're not welcome here. What? Nah, it's fine. You are not welcome, <laughs> mistress. <laughs> Shut up, robot. I'll be seeing you, Alia. I annoyed Mira. Oh. Wow. Shut up, robot. <laughs> How do you feel that one, mistress? <laughs> I was not giving you my opinion, mistress. Uh, should we go to Marcy? Uh, I'll ask him what does he think and see what, what sass comes back from that. <laughs> what do you think? I'm now asking his opinion. <laughs> Professor Meyer is my primary user. You might say I'm biased. Hmm. Okay. I can't think why they keep giving me robots. Every time I break or lose one, they give me another. Wow. Um... They must take my safety very seriously. The university cares for your well-being, mistress. Oh, man. It um, is wonderful to be accompanying you. Yeah? Tell me more. I find humans fascinating. And you are very different to most here. I have only recently been activated. I'm calling you Six. Six, mistress. I shall remember that. Have we broken five other robots? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> right. Definitely. <laughs> oh. This shape indicates it's an empire piece. I'd expect the inscription to reflect that. Oh, game telling me I'm dumb. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, review. Emperor, fine. Holy, holy emperor of mankind. Holy emperor. I don't think that's closer. Hmm. Okay. Should we? Um. Oh my god. It's the timeline. The timeline. Look at that. It's so much. Okay. Okay. I'm getting boggled. Let's get out. Oh. Oh. Excuse me, ma'am. Tell me, are you still wasting your time on curious notions of history? Not now, curator. I'm busy. Wow. Hi. Working for the good of the community, I trust. Good faith to you, Alia. May the waters light your way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, everyone wants to say hello. 
I'm quite popular despite being very rude. Alia, I didn't know you were back at Iox. I'm not saying. I'm staying. <laughs> I'm glad I caught you then. I've been reading all day. I just came out to rest my eyes, and there you were. I have to go now. <laughs> Good faith to you, Huang. Oh, before you depart, I found a line of ancient annals of Maswan I thought you might like, if you have time, that is. Show me, and I'll let you know if I have time. Here, see what you think. Mm. Empress. Oh. But that looks a lot like... This is a long one. Let me think. Second word doesn't look like anything I've seen before. Um, Buried. Seems more likely than banished. It's not very often you banish an empress. Yeah. Okay, um, there's like the character from the first word in there. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the old split squiggle. Oh, related words. Oh. Maybe robot rebels. Hmm. Robots can be friends. Buried robots? No. Buried the rebels. Or did they banish the robots? Oh, no. Because they went all judgment day. On yeah. Them. And so the robots were kicked out for getting all a bit Terminator 2 on their ass. Sure. Okay. We're making our own deep, rich law. I feel like that. Empress banished robots? It's, oh, it's quite a monster, isn't it? Robot emperors? Oh, no, hang on. I thought there weren't any robots in the Empire. That would have oh. been useful to know before. <laughs> this suggests otherwise. Good faith to you. <laughs> Can we proceed to your ship now? Uh, yeah. Let's go. I want to get in the field. I want to find more, more glyphs to like mix and match. Yeah, make some more, um, make some more words. Ooh. So this must be like super far in the future then, if they're digging up ancient robots. Yeah. Or like an alternate universe. I mean, but it might be just a whole fantasy thing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if this is set like in real life right now. What? I don't think... I don't think this is like modern day. Oh my God. Because there's robots. Robots. That only of the mercy should be quick, mistress. Do you think her friend is in trouble? As I say, mistress, we should know shortly if we depart. Let's go! Hopefully we'll be in time to help. Whatever has happened to Jun Kwai? Oh, it's a real boat. I thought it was a spaceship. Uh, oh. I used to say, like, have you ever sailed before? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Mercy. At the top. Mercy. It's a rural moon. But why would he be visiting, visiting a rice farm? He could go there next. Let's go. Cool. Sail it up. We are in space. I'm Did confused. They, space boat? Space boat. He wanted us to sail to Mayerzi. It was a short sail through fast waters. Oh, I've got to do it myself. I thought this was a cutscene. The Whoa. next right. Okay, here we go. We're doing it. I like your little, your little boat. It looks like, yeah. um, like an old sea, sea monster. It's cute, isn't it? Do you think these are solar winds? Yeah. Or actual, like, water? Wouldn't it freeze if it was in space? Oh, that's true. Might be magic. Space water. 
magic space water. You know what? Could be. Sweep the sail. Right click. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God, I almost messed that up. If you right click, you can um, oh. do your sail. What does that do? Sweep it. It goes faster. Woo! But it uh, gets a bit, bit wilder. Yeah. A bit trickier. The verdant Whoosh. pass. Careful. Okay, don't, don't, don't fly out of the stream. That's where the demons are. Yeah, that's where the bad, bad times are. Um, Is this your ship, mistress? Careful of your rocks. What do you think? Because she's full of sass. She's the sass bot. The I robot think they're is... very well. She is very beautiful, mistress. But I can't help wondering how you came by her. Mm. Oh, that spot. Oh, that spot, you're fantastic. Ah, you can see the greenery from here. <gasps> Farming moon. Oh, okay. If Remba's here, I need to find him. And if he's not, I need to work out where he went. Hmm. <laughs> Do you think she built the spaceship out of the five other robots she's had? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mud covered the ground and rock. And everywhere I looked, things were growing from the mud. And some of those things had... Oh, there's a pig. Oh, a little pig. Pig, <laughs> friend. Man, I could live the life of space archaeologist flying around in my little spaceship with robot friend and going and just hanging out with pigs yeah i cannot breathe mistress <laughs> as you are no doubt aware hello pigs right let's find out where remba's got to if we're really lucky you will have found an old pot. Ooh. Archaeologists love old pots. That, that is peak archaeology. That is their favorite thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. um, like a new pot? No. Oh, gross. Gross. Uh, old pot. Oh. Who do you think made the old pot? Pig pot. Yeah. Robots, Robots cannot swim. What can you do? You don't breathe. You don't swim. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hope you're not um, planning to go to... Some kind of um, breathing swimming club uh, later. All right, the which, which house do you think he's in? And sweet. Mm, I think that house. The upper right. field. This moon. This moon seems most poor to me. There is mud everywhere. I feel like if you're going to have an archaeology robot, it should be able to go through muddy fields. It's a big part of archaeology, right? Well, I guess you get like different robots for different places. Oh, well, that's true. You know, um, like you get different tires for different uh, terrains. Forget it, Six. If you just keep your voice down a little. Oh, there's something to look at there. Plenty of rice stored here. Feels risky to like have all your rice out drying with just like free roaming pigs. Yeah. I feel like they would come and. Do you think they'd eat raw rice? Oh, yeah. Pigs eat anything, don't they? Oh, yeah. They'd love that. They'd crunch that down. Okay, I'm going off, off camera. Help. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, that looks like a good house. It does. You mean... Can I jump down? No, there's a little it. ramp just back there. Oh, yeah. Uh, Maybe the pigs only eat human flesh so the rice is safe. You might be right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's, uh, that's the safer thing. I'm always out here, mistress. Okay. You. <laughs> Do I know you? You're from Enox, aren't you? I am. I heard your voice, your accent. He told me you might come. <gasps> Who did? 
My tally oxen. He left something for you. With the goddess to keep it safe. <gasps> oh, I hope it's a pot. So he was here? Do you know where he went? Looking for him. He promised he would come back. I did so like to believe him. I hope you find him. I'm I'm not Mia. Uh oh. I have to go now. <laughs> I don't want them to see me talking to you. Oh jeez. Wow. Does it's everyone hate there. us? I mean that tracks. We're not nice. Hmm. Where's the um where's the goddess? I guess there's gonna be like a statue around here somewhere? Where he's like buried his important pot? Mouse carry us, mistress. Uh, oh. Get around. Return is to the more, ship? Is there more to learn here? No. Or should we return? She told me to look, so I'm going to look. I, I bet there's a thing to find. Yeah. Don't yeah, we can find... Thing. We can find something. We can find a thing. Um... Uh, you've had a few more donos in while you have a little look around. Oh, yeah. Um, like a well, uh, hundred bucks from Merriman. <gasps> Merriman? He says Bengal and Tam. Yeah. Uh, having watched every single one of your streams at least once, I can say that you're the best. Give up the insanity and Merry Christmas. Aww. Well, Thank Merry you Christmas Merriman. to you, Merriman. Merry That's Christmas. Very kind. Thank you for supporting the charity. Um. And Briz then it's 255 pounds. What the heck? Wow. Super generous. Thank you. And they say, much love from Kiwiland. Aw, thank you very That's much. Very kind. Much love to, this to Kiwiland. This was for a street on May Erzy. Buildings on stilts, jumping out of the bushes like children. It was so quiet. And pigs. A lot of pigs. Oh, got the well. Three paths met. The well, path. well, well. What do we have here? <gasps> I could imagine them all. A riddle. Sitting around here in the evenings, sipping rocker and singing. It seemed nice. There's a pot by the thing. Oh, <laughs> stranger. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings to you. Welcome to Marcy. Have you come to trade? What do you have to trade? Oh. If you do not know that, then you have not come to trade. Uh, that's a beautiful moon you have. It's not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> it is wet enough for us, certainly. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for someone. Ooh. Not a Martian, surely. We are alike as ants to you. That's not true. So, you are looking for a Martian? I know my friend Junkie was here. I met one of your villagers and she knew him. She? What was her name, this villager? That's not important. Even if she told me, I wouldn't tell you. Trust is a problem between our two moons. Still, I can imagine who it was. If we had seen your friend, if we had met with an accident among us, what would Iox do? I just uh -oh. want to know where he is. Uh oh. No hypothetical. Uh, we have not seen him. Now leave. Why are you lying to me? I think he's a Mogus. Very sus. <laughs> he was venting. <laughs> Your friend was here. <laughs> he left in a ship. Then something exploded in the sky. I don't know if that was your friend, but I do know we found this close beside our goddess. Ah, 
Just this burnt corpse. <laughs> Here. A shard of crystal. Does this mean anything to you, Six? It looks like a piece of the dark crystal. It does. This man does not contain crystals of that type. Uh, what kind of crystal is it? Iolite, mistress. Valueless. Hmm. Can I keep it? <laughs> it is worth nothing to us. Keep it. Don't go away. Good faith to you, lady. See you. Oh, well, we've got a clue. Seems mm. as if Renda left. Shall we leave? Hmm. Uh, is the shard enough to find him? Perhaps. Then let's go. Is it enough to find him? It's a clue. If I know anything about mysteries. Wasn't there something to do with the, the goddess? Yeah, he said they found it next to the goddess. Oh, okay. And the woman right. said he left something by the goddess. Right, okay. Very cryptic. Mmm. Plot thicons. No old pot, though. Disappointing. That's always a sad day for an archaeologist. Yeah. No old pot. They must have kept pots. that for themselves. What the heck? So he left that crystal as a clue. Because he knew something might happen to him. Um, should we go back to the lady and tell her? She might know what the crystal means. I'm quite certain in my analysis, mistress. Hmm. Maybe he brought it with him from Inox? Alex is famously without crystals or useful materials. Iox is a rather poor moon, in fact. No, I believe this shard comes from an asteroid somewhere on the edge of the cyclones. Oh, that is a dangerous, dangerous place. Well, we got a thousand, thousand pound donation from Lord Scree. Oh my God, Lord Scree, that is wow. incredibly generous. Um, and they say, Tom, Ben, best boys. I can't sleep from COVID booster backlash. Watching you instead. Keep up. Keep up the charity. Oh, thank you, Lord Scree. Well, thank you so very much. That's super, super generous. Super generous. Super kind. In fact, look at this. Since we've started this stream, just to like over an hour ago, we've raised about over £20,000. Wow. That's a lot of pounds. That's so many pounds from all of you guys. I mean, I wish we could read out all your messages, but there are too many for us to go through. We'd be there here all day. So many messages. We wouldn't get to play any games. But just thank you to everyone who's contributed, because £20,000 from just a short time is amazing. Yeah, it's nuts. All of them, all of it going to, uh, to good causes. Mm. Loads of good causes. Um, that will help make a big difference in a lot of people's lives. So you should feel, feel very proud. Proud of yourself. Good job. Being part. We really appreciate every, every, every one of you. Oh, God. Is this a cyclone area? I'm not super confident about my driving skills. You can do it. Oh, thanks, man. I believe. Let's go. Um, yeah, I'll just read a few, a few more while we're here. Uh, no name provided. They say thanks for all the l thanks and love to all the Yogs cast for fab content and jingle charity wholesomeness. Thank you very much. Um, they donated two hundred and fifty pounds. Um, and Hrafnikal is how I'm pronouncing that name. Uh, they also donated two hundred and fifty pounds. They said um, I had a long year, but Jingle Jam is always a joy. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Glad you're enjoying. Uh, Afmonso. Uh, it's 200 pounds. Thank you so very much. And they say, Tom Bon, how are your lovely boys this Christmas? Keep up the Zexy Warhammer work Ooh. and Jingle Jam Jerkin. Big love to you, the Yogs, and chat this winter. P.S. Brush beats bone, archaeology forever. Ah! <laughs> well, that's true. We're not playing a space paleontology game right now, are we? That's very true. That's very so true. I think maybe the, the Arcos win this round. Ah, you take this round, Arco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, One-armed bandit. Uh, do you think it's £100? Thank oh. you so very much. They say, for the best boys. Thank you. 
Um, Yawful uh, donates £100. Thank you so much. And they say, apparently my leg wanted to make sure that I was awake for the jerk-off. I'd just woken up an hour ago, half awake, and cosy in my blankets, when my right calf decided to give itself a Charlie horse. Oh. Is that Cockney rhyming slang for, like, a cramp? Um, yeah? Uh, at least I'm now very awake. Well, thank you so very much. Oh, thank you. Sorry about your leg. Sure you give it a rub. You'll be all right. Um, Kia, uh, to donate 100 bucks, and they say, festive greetings, Tom and Ben. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Happy festive to you, too. Uh, Thaya, uh, to donate 100 bucks, and they say, Tom and Ben, I've been watching you guys for years for some reason. Have some money. Or not, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dale. Yeah, I'll never know the reason either, but I'm very um, glad you're all here, nonetheless. <laughs> super, super appreciate it. Uh, Ed W, doing this 100 bucks. Thank you so much, Ed W, and they say less than three. Less than three. Um, and no name provided. Uh, doing this 100 bucks to Autistica. Ooh. Very generous, very kind. Thank you. Uh, Throck the Rock. Oh, no. 100 bucks. I've gone the wrong way, Tom. Uh oh, what happens if you hit the rock? Uh, I, I don't know. Should I, I want to see. Oh, it says backspace to reset. Oh, wow. At least saw you coming. Uh, Throck Cheap, the Rock to win. says, You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Crab blow came from space. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thank you so much. Throck the rock. Um, Kremlo uh, did come from space. He did. And you better not pout. You better not <laughs> cry. Kremlo's coming for you. Kremlo comes. Um, you will not be impressed. Uh, space Tyrant donates 100 bucks. Thank you, Space Tyrant. I say, I've loved the Jingle Jam for a long time. It's a constant source of good vibes. Thanks to the recent good news, I can give more than I've previously done. All for a good cause. Much love to Meat and Bean. <laughs> Obviously my favorite streamers. <laughs> Who is Meat and Bean? I think that's us, Ben. Oh. Meat, meat and Bean. Okay. I guess uh, I'm Bean. <laughs> probably. Uh, it's closer to your name. Um... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, and Slurping uh, uh, donates 100 bucks as well. Thanks so much, Slurping. And Thank they say, you, Slurping. Hi, Bon and Ton. Uh, have a good day uh, for the good boys. Lots of love from snowy Sweden. Well, Aww. hey, hey to you in Sweden. I hope we get some snow. It's been cold enough recently. It has been. Oh, hasn't it been cold? Oh, I'd hasn't love a little chilly? bit of Christmas snow. Um, when was the last time you had Christmas snow? Uh, last year? Do we have last year? Was that like January? There was definitely snow at some point last year. Yeah, but I think it was after Christmas. <laughs> Wah. Um. Ah, we found the crystal moon. <gasps> oh yeah, that's why the crystal's not worth anything. Because um, there's a whole moon of it. Yeah. Easy to get crystals. Uh... There is no surface flow. We cannot land the ship. Oh, no. Oh. Um, okay. So, is this as close as we can get? Ah, this sounds like a job for Roboto. As close as you can get. There is no air. Um, no air. Hopper? Oh. A nightingale game is fitted with a hopper, of course, for instantaneous travel. Oh, like a, like oh, a TP. What? How does it work? There is a source. The source fires at the subject and casts it into the hopper's eye. The eye refracts the signal. It is focused and reconstituted. Oh. Bad. Okay, so it's like a teleporter. Yeah. Wow. By Hopper, I just explained <laughs> this to you. Um, okay, well, let's do it. I will be I'm, able to ensure my safe return. I'm more than happy to shoot Robot down to the planet, whether yeah, we, or not he comes back. Yeah, we don't have to be bad. This is how you keep losing them. This is how you went through five <laughs> other robots. A moment later, the robot was gone, and I was alone in the dark. It's not 
Tak, pet shop. The brooch. Oh, there's a crystal in the brooch. Oh. Is it the same kind of crystal? Hmm. It's some kind of mine. Okay. Hello there. It's beautiful enough. But that doesn't explain what Rembo was doing with it. Hmm. Oh, Rumble back. Wow. Well, mistress. I found something, mistress. Okay. Tool chest. Oh. An engineer's chest. Wow. Is this in Jenny's? The probability is high. I believe the moon below was once a quarry. This box is no artifact. Hope there isn't a snake in here. Nice. A <gasps> roll of cloth. Oh. Huh? Excuse oh, me. No. Sorry. I've got to renew my parking. <laughs> so your cloth alarm is going off. <laughs> yeah. Too many robot sasses Some for one kind day. Of robe. Robe. Something stitched into the belt. Tiny characters picked out in darker thread. <gasps> okay. There we go. Parking accomplished. Oh, cool. More words. Word puzzle. So, um, this symbol is so common. Yeah. It's in almost everything. Um. Hmm. Okay. What ones do we so recognize? So, this one might be like That's holy. That's really close to holy. Pray. Pray. Yes. Good. Okay. So, then... This uh, one. Empress, robots, like... I or we, probably? Yeah, because there's like, it's like kind of th people or things, right? Yeah, I think we. Let's go with we. Um, mm. uh, what does it look most like? Pilgrims? I think, I think like citizens or pilgrims. Oh, pilgrims is good. This... This thing, this one here, the, like, the wavy A, is that makes me think maybe it's not pilgrims. But it's but on like a robe. We pilgrims pray. But maybe banished isn't right. Maybe banished isn't right. Well, oh, the only other option was buried. Um. I, no, I think that's probably fine for now. Okay. Uh, I like um. Oh, pilgrims. Okay, let's try pilgrim. Because like that would make sense to write on a, like a robe. That's true. We pilgrims pray. Uh, why did he hide this? I think you might have to go to... Oh, there's, there's more. more in here. This is a figurine carved from stone. <gasps> Boy, <Frankly I'm> preserved. <gasps> Her arm has been inscribed. We found a miniature. It's Christmas. I've seen a word. Most huh? likely not. Most mm. likely not a word. Ancient scribes didn't always trouble to put in spaces. Oh. Didn't think they expected their writing to be read. Oh, no. Okay. So we've got... Holy. And we don't know. If we could like see it. Oh, uh, didn't they talk about the holy water and like holy light before? Wasn't yeah, it? and we haven't really seen the these symbols before, have we? The swoops and the loops. Um, Holy light. So. Uh, Guess it comes from the same side like as the robe. robe. Having this could help us find the place. But okay. that's not all. <gasps> oh. There's also a copper cup. How did Rebna get his hands on all of this? The inside is heavily stained. It must have belonged to a heavy drinker. Oh no. The maker didn't include an inscription in the base. 
Still, I don't think this is the same place or period as that figure or the robe. In fact, I don't think we've seen anything equivalent to this cup before. Wow. It must have originated on a site that's undocumented. Ooh. So are these leads, or are these things that Rembo was after? Just wait, mistress. I will consider the matter. Hmm. Can you work out where the robe originated from? Oh, he looks sad. I fear so. It's not a good location, mistress. But Professor Meyer was queen that we find Master Renba. And I'm sure Master Renba is equally keen to be found. Unless he's already dead. But show me where he went. Uh, cyclones? I'm not exactly certain, mistress. But I believe Renba traveled far from home. Into the eye of the cyclones! Oh my god! Yeah. Wow. Mm. What the heck? Old Remba, you crazy boy. So where can we can go into the eye, or we can go back home. I, 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 into the eye. We go. Ooh, Ooh, squirrely whirly route. That looks super dangerous. Sure does. Okay, we're going into the Eye of Terror, Tom. Uh oh. Oh god, that's bad. Mm hmm. It sure is. Prepare your Geller field. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want that falling apart. Wee! I've been analyzing the purple robe we found in Renba's tool chest, mistress. The fabric appears to be of significant age. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is I cannot hold on, <laughs> mistress. Get yeah, a slow down. I've got to slow down. Oof. Faster, Ben. Look at me. These rocks. These Faster. rocks, Tom. Faster. Let me help you with the speed up. Oh my god. It's going too fast. Whoa. 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 Okay. Hang on. This whole area is wild. <sighs> Better check the hole when we next land. Oof. Oh my god, yeah. I have probably bumped it a few times. Sweep the sail, sweep. Ben. I'm trying to sweep the sail. There we go. Whoosh. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Are you doing great? Right, sometimes you gotta, you got to unsweep in order to re-sweep. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, so um, we've got 50 pounds from Monique, who says, Hello, I found the Yoast cast thanks to my partner, Sam. Ooh. We're watching together now. Uh, we love all the content. Thank you so much, Tom and Ben. Have a great weekend. Welcome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Um, and Pakchok. Uh, do these 50 bucks? Thank you, Pack Chuck. And they say, Happy Festog. I have to continue struggles with mental health and other things in life. I finally have a job and more than happy to donate to my favorite charity drive and people much love less than three. Well, thank you so very much. Pack Chop. Well, thank you, uh, sir. And Black Sheep donates 50 bucks. Thank you, Black Sheep. They say, His Royal Highness Ben, Work Ben, and Supreme Overlord Military Tyrant Tom. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Jingle Jam time. I've be, I have enjoyed another year looking forward to the jerk-off stream every week. And now I get a special holiday weekend jerk-off. Oh, I must have been a good boy to have such special jerk-off time. Love. <laughs> well, thank you, Black Sheep. <laughs> thank you. You have been good. Very good. Everyone who's donated to the Jingle Jam has been very good this year. That's super kind. Uh, Guinea Fowler. The next 60 pounds. Thanks so much, Guinea Fowler. It's a tentacle of the depths, Ben. At the depths, Tom. Ooh. Hello. Question. Of the planets in our solar system, which do you expect would taste the best? Uh, Uranus. <laughs> Speaking from experience. <laughs> it's really hot. Like, that's what all the, that's what all the Zoomers are into now, right? <laughs> yeah. They live fast and they eat Uranus. <laughs> that's right. Um, so yes, 100%. 100%. That is the answer, I'm pretty sure. Um, any other any other hot? Uh, well, Mars bars, you know, pretty tasty. Yeah, but it's meant to be really dry there, right? Yeah, but, you know, chocolate, caramel, nougat. 
What's not to like? Yeah, but do you want that dusty chocolate surface? <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's going to be good. <laughs> I'm sticking with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sticking with your ass. I mean Uranus. <laughs> um, and... Um, the hopper fired, and for a moment I <laughs> Not aboard the nightingale, not on the moon beneath. It could have been a heartbeat or an hour. Oh. But I didn't feel the cold until I reappeared. <gasps> Smashed by the waters. Okay. The special waters. Uh, seems like Junk had a taste for places like this. I have a feeling about this one. Uh, whenever Rembo was after, we are close. Ooh, my pot sense is tingling. I hope he will be grateful when we find him. We are taking considerable risk. This way! Onward. Um, also, we are taking considerable risk. That hints like the robot has a bit of self-preservation. Hmm. We've done well to get through six of them already. <laughs> yeah, They're trying God. to live. We are a monster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can only hope. Oh, yeah, you're right, chat. This does feel like a um, like Star Trek episode now, doesn't it? You've beamed down to a Californian desert planet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that? Here, in the middle of the hurricane, there was a house. Wow. Oh. It was fine. Tucked in below the overhanging rock. Wooden beams, mud brick walls, shutters. Not enough for two families to argue over. It would have been measly on Iox and grand on Elbereth. But here, it was impossible. Wow. Wow, yeah, this is like one of the hardest reach, hardest places to reach in the galaxy by the looks yeah. of it. Why would you My build God. a house in the middle of the Eye of Hurricanes? Oh, just imagine all the pots that could lie inside. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Bit of a drop. Ah, I can jump that. Do not fall. Hmm. Can you? Can I climb over? Mm. Yeah. Please, mistress. <laughs> the floor beyond would only give way. Nah. You're a fuss pot robot. How dare you? I mean, I could go in through the window, but. Oh, look at those pots. We're in. Robots can't climb walls, can they? Where did that robot go? <gasps> oh. Snuck away. Six. Hmm. Robots abandoned me for once. <laughs> oh god, those poor robots who just left for dead. <laughs> are they just are they barren moons with robots on them just going, Mistress! Mistress, please! I have a ten thousand year battery life! <laughs> please! <laughs> I'm lonely! Oh, Oh my god. Oof. Okay, we're going in. We're still here. Ooh. Reading, reading. Doing whatever ghosts do. The house was Spooking. empty. But it hadn't been abandoned. Oh. Hmm. Ruin and rubble. Must be more. There must must be clues. I search for traps. There's something wedged in here. A scimitar? What? From the Holy Empire, no inscription. But I don't think I've seen anything of this exact metal before. Wow. Which means I think it comes from somewhere I haven't previously discovered. Why would bring anyone bring a weapon out here? Yeah, this doesn't seem like the kind of place you need a weapon. There's another house over there. Oh. What's this? It's quite different, some kind of telescope. Oh, it's like one of the ones that you put like put a money in. <laughs> yeah, so you can like you look, look the, out of the sea. Look at the landmark. There's something over there. Can't make it out. Oh no, is he, is he a peeping Tom, the guy who lives here? Oh, is it God, that just someone else's time. window that it looks through? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Looks like wreckage. Uh, could be old. Although it is smoking. Material on this is wrong. Is it metal or rubber? 
Looks like something Ori might have built. I must remember to ask her about it. There are some scratches. Something's fitted inside the frame and it was removed by force. Telescope. Yeah. Telescope. Telescope. Is that smoke? It's definitely smoke. Oh, Remba. Oh, Remba. That's your ship, oh, isn't please. it? Oh, please. Remba. Remba! Hmm. Maybe like another, another ship. Or, not a telescope, a little like 50 cal. Oh, wow. Okay. Shot that ship down. Sure, yeah. Yeah, because those like wooden, wooden looking ships, I don't think they're going to last very long. No. No wonder the robot's gone missing. Mm. He knows. He knows what's up. Um, we're going to have to change game soon. I have a message appearing on the screen. Oh, you're right. We've got a third game we, 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 we said we would play. I'm Where did six solve... go? Oh, hang on. We're off bed. I want to find one more clue. There's an inscription. <gasps> it's all oh. barely visible. Scratched into the plaster. Johnny's bed. <laughs> Keep out. Oh, God. There's a whole load of symbols here that we haven't really seen. Oh, scratched into the wall. More words I don't know. This, this one is super common. This must be something to do with people, right? Yeah. Um, I? I? That one's we? That's like sure. person, more, more people. Yeah, sure. This is, this is one person, one dot. Uh. Uh. Oh, God. I've got no idea what that's meant to mean. We haven't seen most of these symbols before. What's the last, the last bit? Uh. Hmm. I don't know. This is the people symbol again, though. People, then there's like the dot, which like appears all over the place. Hmm. Who are you? I fear the goddess. Or death. Oh, I fear death. I like that. That's nice. Jesus. Someone scraped this into their wall. Jeez. Uh, maybe the writer was dying. Yeah. He was all alone and he had to leave a message before he died. Scratched by someone lying down. Jeez, yeah. that's, that's dark. I think that makes, makes sense. Oof. Um, okay, well, maybe that's the cliffhanger we have to leave on. Yeah. Where's the robot gone? What's smoking in the distance? Mm. If only there was some way you could find this out yourself. <gasps> but Tommy, you can. What? If you donate £35 to the Jingle Jam charity bundle, you receive this and 54 other games. Oh! With a combined value of over $875. Fucking hell. Wow. You, you can find out the mysteries of the pots. Man, you must be loaded after this if everyone's paying you £35 for these games. No, Tom. It, they're not paying me. They're donating that money to charity. Wow. You can pick any one of the 14 charities at jinglejam.tiltify.com, donate to charity, and wow. receive so many games as a reward. Wow. It's a win, 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 win. That's the classic quadruple win <laughs> um, but we've got to show off more of the games that are available in the collection today so we're going to have to take a break here and we'll be back in a couple of minutes with the third game of the day <laughs> man yeah people saw us scripted so well rehearsed <laughs> so scripted um, we'll see you in a minute guys be right boom. back don't go anywhere burn Tom welcome Welcome, Welcome, my sweet boy. How you doing? Good. All right, um, so we've got one, one more of the really big games that's in the bundle this year. Yeah. A game you've played a lot of. Yeah. It's called Surviving Mars. Mars, Ben! Mars! Welcome to Mars, everybody. Oh, my God. Mr. Musk has tasked us with Marsing. Yeah. Finally, he's thought... I need to send the two most expendable people to get the first <laughs> foothold on Mars. Yep. It's very risky. And I know the guys. 
Uh, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be us. Where do I have my little boss shop to go? Right here. Sure. Um, so yeah, the mission is: Can I get um, people on Mars within? Yeah. So in this game, you have to colonize Mars, and the first wave is robots. And you get your little drones, and you start setting up the like infrastructure required to support life and people. But it takes a little while to get to the point where. Um, you can get people on Mars. So we've set ourselves a challenge. Tom knows this game fairly well. He's made quite a few videos on his own channel. Can he get a human being on Mars before the end of the stream? Well, I could probably get them there. Whether or not they can live <laughs> is a, a very different angle. Okay, well, Big ideally they live. There. Let's see. Let's see if we can get living people onto Mars. And then, oh. depending on how close we're getting to the end of the challenge, <laughs> when the time starts running out, just get them up anyway. Okay. Right, we can do that. Um, okay, I need just some... I do like the retro Futurama, like, aesthetic. Isn't it cool? It's, like, super cute. Um, start just, like, loading me some junk. Um, because we have important, important things to do. Right, they're all going to go and grab grab my goods Aww. from the spaceship so I can send that home. We've got big mama robots and little baby robots. Yeah, so here's Mumbot. Mumbot. Um, <laughs> right. Mumbot controls baby bots. There you go. Mumbot. Perfect. Um, what does, what does, is this daddy bot? This is Explorus. Ah, oh, Explorus. Uh, so, I don't think we've really seen any um, anomalies. We'll do some scanning, don't worry. And then this is just like Transporto. Uh, Transporto. Slow, slow truck bot. Yeah. Can, um, can truck bot dig? Yeah. Here we go. Perfect. Dig, 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 dig. Food going here. Look, he's like digging up some little. little oh yeah, getting some iron, iron ingots. Uh, so um, we got to get some stuff built. Luckily, we mm -hmm. brought um, a couple of things with us. We got some components and things, right? Um, a little Sterling generator. Okay. Um, who will help me? How do I want this laid out? Actually, no, I can't worry about laying stuff out beautifully. It's got to. I need just stuff coming down. Um. So everyone knows what's the best building material. It's it's concrete. Concrete. You can't go wrong with concrete. But how do you make it? You need like rock and water, right? Uh, well, um, this just needs some metal and machine parts to get my um, my crushinator. Who's oh. going to come and? Um, Wouldn't be Mars without a crushinator. And uh, yeah, then we got to start building some other some other stuff. Get, get some so, power going. All all the uh, right. all the luxuries. Okay, I need... Let's get some okay, wires. Need some donuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some of um, that going while I um just get the just the bare bones. Yeah. Ready. Uh, Atom has donated. Thank you, Atom. And says, I never really cared for these Tom and Ben fellows. What? What is... Is this what Twitch is coming to? What? A tall man and a boring man being very funny. <laughs> Truly degenerate, I say. <laughs> I, for one, will no longer support the Yogscast unless they fire these men and begin making unfunny content immediately. Wow. Oh, my God. Atom. I did not know you were so committed to to bad content. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Bad prefab. <laughs> what have you done? Joan attempts to put them a square part in a round hole for a third time. Oh, God. Uh -oh. Can you destroy the jo drone? Joey Rick. Chance to fix the building or lose the drone. Just I'm happy to have the drone be punished for its incompetence. Uh, we have to use some parts from the drone itself, but we're able to assemble. Okay. I'm down a drone now, though. Down a drone. Oh, that's Stupid sad. drone. That's sad. <laughs> Look, the crushinator's here, Ben. Ah! Um, crush, 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 crush. Get ready. Look, it sends out this like the, the this little shopping guy. And then, like, scrapes it back inside. Oh, wow. And then turns that into concrete. Yeah, you do not want to get... Um, no. You get do not want to get scraped. There. What if I've got a really itchy back? Can I just lie down in the field and get... Yeah, I think this thing is, like, maybe about, like, 20 feet high. Like, I oh, think okay. people are quite small. But if you can set it to just the right elevation... Yeah. So it just yeah, scratches like it, my back. It might work. Precision work. It could obviously. be. Could be a thing, maybe? Question mark. Um, okay, cool. Right, concrete is coming in. Um, my boy, you have got some stuff. Just uh, you can hang. 
Um, and then... How much do we need for a dome? So we can actually make a like, tiny little baby dome. Oh. But I feel like we want, like, a cooler dome. Actually, get, like, a micro-dome. We could do that. Micro-dome. Is that cheating? No, we can't fit as many people in, but we can get them with all their basic needs. And the first people that come to Mars, generally, they don't get a lot of their needs met. <laughs> right. Like, they'll get food, water, and oxygen, oh, but well. they're not going to have, you know, pleasure domes and shopping districts and stuff like <laughs> right. that. Right, okay. Um, you've got to kind of make do a little bit. It'll be really hard to be the first people on Mars, because you're just going to... You're just going to get, like, super radiation poisoning. You're going to spend, like, three or four years building infrastructure, and then you're going to die. <laughs> it's going to be grim. <laughs> There's no coming home, is there? The first, probably, first wave on Mars. Probably not. Um... But it could be fun. Oh, God, it'd be a lot of hard work, though. Yeah. Make the drones do the work. Drones. They work. Can we make it so that the first people on Mars just get to be, like, pampered Wally people? And the drones do everything? Not really. I need I need the first people coming here to actually do some shit. Oh, man. Um, do, you want, do you want the triangle? You can choose You can choose the dome that we go for. Um, I, I have no information. Microdome? Basic dome. So we get a pre-packaged, like self-sufficient one. That okay. Maybe makes sense for us to uh to use. Where do you want it? Here? Is that where you want a dome? Okay. I, I've I've not played this game. I don't know. Okay. I cannot give advice. Uh I'm gonna have to trust you here. What have I got? What is that circle boy though? Do I have all the resources? I need I need some pampered people for sure. Okay, well wanna... yeah, we can sort that out. Um, okay, I don't want that. Uh, Grim Thorn has donated and says, Annual report from the dairy mines. Still working a ridiculous shift in an annoying time zone, but I've got half an hour before I need to go to work. There's a handful of milky pearls I've Ooh. been able to hoard from the mines. These charities aren't going to fund themselves. Kremlo came from the deep. Kremlo did come from the deep. The deep of space. Thank you, Grim Thorn. You're doing good dairy mine work. Yeah, you are. We salute you, sir. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, generator down. Uh, Nosha has donated and says, Neb, Mott, thank you for your shenanigans for the last year. Also, tell the lads of Dota Scrubcast to keep it going. Great content. Uh, it is, man. I, I watched that. It's very fun. I don't get it, because I'm... I don't understand Dota. Uh, I don't know. I think Perian, Perian does a good job of explaining explaining stuff. Oh, okay. Because um, he often he'd often do the scrub scrub cast thing. Yeah. Um, do you think he, I could watch it with no with no knowledge at all? I think I think you could if you watched it in the beginning. I think you would be able to get into it um, oh, okay. because they kind of like explain the heroes and Perian does a pretty good job at uh, explaining a lot of the basics of like what is going on, what people are trying to do. Um, I think it's good. Cool, okay. I've, like, and I've I've played Dota, and I enjoy um, just watching it for fun. Cool. Just watching it for fun. You should have to check it out. I mean, I, maybe I could tell them a thing or two, Tom, because I don't know if you know this. I am the, the Yogscast Dota champion. And, yeah. And um, have a 100% win rate. Real strong. So, um, um, very impressive. I'm sure I could help them out. Yeah, just let them know, uh, you know, I'm doing a couple of those last hits. <laughs> They're pretty good. I think you'll find. I mean, I could let them in on some little secrets. Did you know if you kill your own guys before the enemy do, it stops them getting money? Wow. Did you do any denials? Yeah. Wow. Smart. Pretty good. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. I mean, I hate it. I hate the concept. Um... Killing your own mooks. Oh, okay. Right. You're, so you're talking about I'm um, just like uh, the creep wave. Yeah. Um, right. Oh God, no! I wouldn't. Would kill a so player. So you can deny players as well. <sighs> That's but, a risky gamble. Ooh, That's a good way to get a lot of fucking a, BM rage. It's a real, real spicy. Uh, <laughs> spicy move. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I can open the build menu with B. Uh, God, I didn't even, didn't even think about doing it to a player. It's possible. You, you're gonna have some big balls to do, tr try that. Yeah, yeah, you do. Um, okay, Can you right. do that in other games? Can you like execute your teammates in Counter Strike to stop stop them bleeding money to the other team? 
I guess. I don't know, but I think it's different because even if like someone who's on one HP in Counter Strike, yeah, they're still very effective. Can still kill an entire fucking team. Mm -hmm. um, but in Dota, if someone's on one one percent yeah, HP, they're, they're um, not doing anything. They're very unlikely <laughs> um, to get the kill. How are we doing on parts? We've got machine parts. We're doing great. Everything is fine. So right. Just to fill you in on what's going on, mm -hmm. we're currently um, getting a hold of Concretia. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, it's being brought over here, oh, okay. slowly being loaded up. These are just um, general uh, storage general bays. General storage base. I like it. Um, and uh, we're building some water. Oh, okay. Water we're digging up, slopping. digging up ice and melting it. Um, because we're going to need to get people happy. Um, which mm. and then like, you got concrete and water. What more do you want, people? It's pretty much, pretty much all the best stuff. <laughs> um, so do need to plan where I want to have a a dome. Uh, do we need to send the rocket home because it takes a long time to get home? Ooh, is it still got I, stuff in it? So it this type of rocket, I think, is slowly making its own fuel. Oh. But we. You want to get to a point where you're making a lot of fuel, um, right. so you can have a big turnover of rockets. Because we can actually, um, wow, God, we've got a lot of rockets. Um, so we can order order rockets in. Oh, wow! Rocket. So technically, I think we can just call up and bring some people over. They won't have anywhere to live, and they'll die immediately. Yeah, I'm not counting that as a victory, Tom. Um, yeah, gonna, <laughs> um, they, they, need, right they need a house that they can go into. <laughs> yeah. Um, Seeing as we've got so many rockets, I want uh, a bunch of drones, I reckon. More drones is more good. That's what I always say. Um, and... Do you want any prefabs? Ah, uh, Osborne has donated and have, has, has have some money from the frozen north. Thank you, Osborne. Oh, thank you very much. Winter Bear says, love you guys work. Keep it coming. Thank you very much. Loot Hard says, Tom and Ben, liking you is super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Hope you have an amazing Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love how people are acting like that's our catchphrase. It's not. We stole it's it. It's not. We stole we it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Stolen stole it from the excellent um, pitch meeting guy. Just, just like saying. Wow, 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 wow. It's good fun. Uh, Lobster X has donated and says, I've been watching you from the very beginning. It's the first time donating. My son will love these games. Thank you for everything you guys and girls do. Much love. Oh, that's super oh. nice. Thank you. That's super cool. Yeah, it's a great gift, to be honest. The game, you could literally get yourself 55 games, pick out the ones you like, give the rest to other people as presents. So yeah. Much value. What a cool, what a cool way to do it. Uh, let's get some peep. Okay, so, uh oh. Right, so we're, we're getting water, but we're not putting our water anywhere. Oh. Are we storing it? Nope. In a big penis? Now we're going to store it in a big penis. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, and then people can just come to the jerk activated taps. Mm hmm. That's it. Yeah, there's like a special <laughs> nozzle to. Uh, <laughs> to spray it all out of. To, to drink. Perfect. Um, and we'll get ourselves some moxie. Moxie. Um, I like your moxie, kid. How um, we... You're full of spunk and beans. Are getting air, uh, air to our place. Um, okay, so we're getting a tiny little bit of life support here. Mm -hmm. um, my power is looking fine once these things kind of come online. Uh-oh, I did not plug it in. Therefore, it is terrible and just worthless. Oh, no, people like their stuff plugged in, in my experience, Tom. Bonk. There we go. Uh, some little robots will come and build that. Okay. Um, what are those, like, cargo containers next to the oxygen maker? Uh, these store air. Oh, okay, cool. Air systems. Uh, this makes the air. These guys are going to store water currently. Oh, there it is. Bit of water Perfect. for both of them. Um, we're looking all pretty stable. Everything's in the green, which is pretty good. Um, the only thing that's sad is our robots are have a very heavy load. What does that mean? There's too much for them to do. There's a oh, there's so much for them to do, Ben. Uh, can we build more robots? Mm, we can later, but uh, I can't build robots yet. 
Oh, do we need to get two robots to rub against each other? That, mm. That's how baby robot is made. And they have to love each other very much. Um, yeah. Um, but what I've decided to do is um, I'm shipping some more in uh, from ah. back from Earth. Getting some robot orphans and adopting them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and they're all going to be um, fired out. Those to... robots aren't doing anything. What the hell? No wonder there's a heavy load. Half of them are slacking. Yeah, right. How do I... Is that all the jobs are outside of robot range? Yeah, there's a... Can we build like a oh, range? Oh, no, they should... Uh, no, I think it's just um, there are no current oh. jobs really going on. Oh, okay. Oh, but extra rocket. Rocket to Boogaloo. Pow. That is unnecessarily risky. I like having like a sort of parking lot. Well, yeah, but like... I feel like there's a small chance the rocket won't land exactly where you tell it to land. No, they're really good. Look how many robots oh, I ordered. Oh, we've got loads of robots. I was just like 20 or maybe. I don't wow. know. It was a lot of robots. Okay, so we are looking pretty good. I could do it more concrete. I could set up another concrete. Yeah, build another Scrapertron. Like Scrapo. It's just going to be in range of my thing. So... Uh, let's get that going. Production. Concrete. Perfect. Can we, like, mine out those, like, iron rocks? Uh, yeah, we can do mining. Uh, that's, the, that's the thing that will just happen. Happen over time. Uh, mm. This way. Oh, man, the music in this game is great. <laughs> oh, I'm my sure God. You, um... <laughs> Lackey1984, how dare you? What? They've donated... Well done, thank you. And they say, person who immediately stands up to get their luggage, Tom, oh and God. person who claps when the plane lands back. <laughs> I can't uh, think I don't of know what's more insulting. I'm, I'm very insulted on both of us, on behalf of both of us. How dare you? How what dare you, sir? What the hell? I'm neither of those things. I've, we've been called a lot of things on the Tom and Ben streams and through donations, but this one hurts the most. Yeah, that one's savage. <laughs> That's just fucking Ow. sick burn. <laughs> a plane clapper. Could you imagine? Imagine you, you marry someone. You marry, you meet the love of your life, mm -hmm. right? You marry them. You go on your honeymoon together. And then it turns out that's the first time you've been on a plane together. And as the plane lands, she starts clapping. What if do you do? Is it the first time that they've been on a plane? No, it's the first time you've been on a plane together. Oh, God. She does it every time. <laughs> It's a tough one. <laughs> there are worse things, <laughs> yeah. but oh no. <laughs> oh, uh, well, I guess like you know, landing landing a plane complicated. Um, I couldn't. No, that's true. Uh... <laughs> Red Winter asks, "Do you clap when the elevator arrives?" Oh. Hey! Well done. <laughs> uh, and yes, yes uh, I do. Um, right. Okay. So what's basically. worse, plane clapper or cinema clapper? I think I guess cinema clapper comes up more. Yeah. Daily life. Okay, let's just get basic. Let's just be a basic dome bitch. Oh, chat reckons cinema clapper's worse. Sometimes it's nice, though. I mean, usually I want everyone to be absolutely silent in the cinema. But occasionally, it's kind of fun when everyone's cheering, if it's mm. appropriate. Yeah, I think it depends on the... Um, depends on the mood. Depends what I'm going in, like, feel like I'm getting in for. Mm. Um, like, there's some smaller, like, kind of goofier indie cinemas in Bristol. Mm. And I've been to see movies that I didn't particularly care about. Or things you've seen before were more over the top, and they had a more raucous atmosphere. But you kind of know that you're going into that, so you don't really care if mm. people cheer or are clapping or whatever. Um, but if I'm going to watch like you know something serious in the the big cinema, I want it very quiet. Mm. But like I quite liked it when um, uh, when we watched Endgame, and. You know, at the end when like everyone turns up for the final battle and it's all very exciting. That was like a satisfying moment. And when people cheered, I didn't mind because it added to the atmosphere. Oh, look, it's Spider-Man. He's from the other films. He was in the other movie. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's Thor! <laughs> I remember him! I remember him from the Thor movie! <laughs> ATST. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh Ben, what is wrong with us? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, right. So we're working on our first <laughs> dome. It's going to be here. Hopefully, you know, not get hit by any asteroids anytime soon. Uh, what do I need? Everything. Uh, we're good on metal. Concrete is taking its sweet time. Yeah, why are they not building the concrete scraper? I think because they were unloading junk and stuff like that. But they're kind of getting to it. Okay, Don't worry. On the case. Like, so, um, case, oh, he's having a little recharge. clean. Oh, my God, he's jiggling. He's jiggling so hard. What are they doing to him? Because <laughs> he, like, just plugs his hands in and just, like, bzzz. Oh, my God. Zaps I feel it. like he's getting off in there. Well, you know, you want to give them a bit of pleasure, right? That's true. They can't be, like, droning all day long. Um, God, maybe actually we just prioritize that. And yeah, because I feel like the dome's going to take quite a lot of concrete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be our bigger, biggest like stumbling block. But if we time it nicely, we can um, get the people coming here just as the dome's about to finish. Ah, and, uh, yeah, because actually we've only got 30 minutes left to have okay. living people on Mars. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You think you can do that? Heavy drode load. Uh, well, that's all working. That's all working. Everything looks fine. Um, Moss Beard has donated. Thank you, Moss Beard. And says, this year's Benga was so intense. You guys are my favorite. Big love, Sharky and Palp. <gasps> Jenga, Benga was so much more intense than I was expecting. Yeah, me too. I didn't know how we were going to top previous years, but then it just, it all came together. Oh my god! Uh, just kept kept going, um, kept building. Some um, incredible moves. I was very impressed. Also, like when towards the end, we had about forty five thousand people watching. Mm. So probably was the most viewed game of Benga for sure. Probably this year oh, in yeah. the world. In the world, yeah, number one rated Benga stream. <laughs> that's a, that's a hard one. Um, how do you get that? Like, yeah, which was not expecting. Is kind of, kind of jokes, <laughs> kind of fun. Um, I'll, I'll make us a little, um, a little plaque if you like, an wow. award. Oh my god, that we Top just number one Benga streamer. Just pass between ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we invented the forbidden move to. Uh, oh my god, to prevent the forbidden the tie. move. What the hell? But I think like next year we might need to play with like a, a set and a half of Jenga blocks. Oh wow! I mean wow. Jenga blocks. We we'll have to set aside more time because that already took like thirty-five minutes. To yeah. Play. Well, I just feel like we, we're never going to top it. Like the stars aligned, and just like that game just kept going. I don't <laughs> yeah. understand why it just worked so well. Um, um, right. I want to. I want to like kick my drones out of out of there. Get them working here. I think the ship has to leave. Oof. Oh wait, did I build a biofuel refinery to bring with me? Oh, I did. I'm so good at games. <laughs> Alex Wax has donated, thank you. It says, Bond, turn! Wow, 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 wow. <sighs> it's the jerk-off stream. I'm glad I wore the white pants today or I'd be in trouble. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> on a reel though amazing to see you guys doing for charity year after year also quick idea let chat vote on which of you have to feature in the Hat Films album ah uh... oh, I don't know I don't want to I don't want to ruin their jam to be honest I feel like completely music illiterate Ben banging away on the bongos in the background of the Hat Films music stream is not anything anyone wants to see yeah <laughs> Yeah, here's that. Oh, we're one concrete away. <gasps> a single concrete. Okay, right. So we'll need to put up some stuff on the inside, but building not working. Ah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's not plugged in. Um, and what have we got? Just metal. Oh. <laughs> 
chat saying they want to see it, they do not want to hear it. <laughs> yeah. Fair. It's fair. Fair. Banging. Banging away. <laughs> okay, the last concrete is <gasps> over, and now this one little drone... Oh! He's doing it, Tom! Oh, he's wow, he's like Doctor Stranging it. Throwing some shapes. <laughs> and... Building the stuff. He's got some, some bottom bit down. Uh, we can actually maybe speed this up, because... Oh, but look, more come. They come. And... Bing! Boop. Research complete. Nice. Oh, wow. Did, why did we make a baseball pitch? Uh, it's no baseball pitch. Do you not have... Oh, I didn't plug it in. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> glad, right. glad we didn't get people here. <laughs> yeah, no, no power and no, no water or anything. Yikes! Oh, because I built it like one square away. There. Uh, great. Now, um, people. What do I want? People, Ben. We've got our dome. Uh, we need. They need house. We need a living complex. Mm -hmm. That's like high, high on the list of. Of stuff. Yeah. Uh, then... I need, like, food? Oh, yeah, definitely food. And an infirmary. No, they don't know. No medical attention required. No, like, if you get injured early on... Mm -hmm. It's kind of your own... Kind Just of fucking your own walk fault. it off, nerd. Just walk it off. <laughs> um, what do you want, like, a grocer? Uh, oh, we'll give them a space bar. <laughs> right, because early mining colonists... They gotta do something with their spare time. Yeah, you Drinking. definitely want that. Start um, a pub tree on for them. Here, have a little grocery thing. Oop, uh, and then I need support. Life support. Here we go. Hydroponics. Oh. Grow your own. Are we gonna have enough power for all this stuff? Yeah, probably. Uh, we found dig deep. I think we dug too deep, Tom. My attention's required. Uh oh. Um. Gain discount with deep scanning tech. Um, reveal deep water, deep metal. That's pretty good. Uh, additional resources in all new deposits. Let's do that one. Okay. Well, no Balrogs, thankfully. Yeah, yeah. You want to avoid the um, the Balrogs, like the Mars Balrogs as well. Ooh. They're going to be extra spicy. Less cool. Uh, right. This should all get built pretty quickly. Power's looking fairly stable. Um, I can actually install a little bit extra power. I did order some more. Uh, what is a Sterling generator? Why don't we use like wind or solar? Uh, because these are cool. Um, they like. Oh. I don't understand how they work. Me neither. Wow, um, they're just magic, magic electric balls. Yeah, I think there is like um is a thing. Um, it is like, all. so I think all of the stuff in this is based on like real tech, but maybe some of it is like more theory. Okay. Uh, but let's just get a little bit extra power. I kind of probably don't need that many. Wow, there's a lot of scientists in chat arguing about how sterling generators work. <laughs> Everyone's an expert. Everyone has a different... <laughs> a different uh, logic <laughs> on how, how, sterling, how sterling do. <laughs> Apparently you can open the generators to generate more power. But then they get dusty. Oh. And it's dust, dust bad. I fight because I've got 69 power. Cancel everything. No more power. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, I'm going to... How are we doing for time? We're pretty good. I'm going to order some people. Bring in the peoples! Uh, they the might space have to bring not some... ready yet, but it might be ready by the time they get here. Yeah, yeah, which is what I'm hoping for. I see passenger rocket. So, uh, tourist. I don't want tourist. No, filter. So what we can do is, like, you could just be like, cool, um, I'm just going to send 12 children to live on Mars. Sadly, no children uh, volunteered yet. <laughs> uh, Should hope not. So we've banned children and seniors. Uh, do you want youths? No, work. everyone's going to have to work real hard. Let's just go with adults. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And then we can have, like, perks. So we can say, like, yes, we want celebrities. Um, oh, wow. 
we can say like, do we want gamers? Do we want nerds, Ben? Well, what are we going to be? What what jobs are they going to be doing? Uh, we could just say only sexy people. Oh, yep, sexy time. Let's take let's let's bring sexy back. Okay, right. Only sexy people allowed on Moon Mars Base One. Okay, cool. Right. We could do um, it's like Celebrity Love Island. But it's celebrity love Mars. Yeah, and when you get kicked out, boom, airlock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Super savage. And then we just have like one sexy couple left, and they're made king and queen of Mars. But, man, I'd, I'd love to be king of Mars. Mm hmm. Um, so we can ban all negative traits um, if we want to. Can we afford to be this picky? Will we have anyone volunteer? Oh, at the moment, everyone wants to go to Mars. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> um, so, you know, I don't want any. Sexy idiots, no, or lazy sexy no. people, no, or whiners, or whiners, <laughs> no, they're that, not allowed. So, do we do sort of like a complex like personality questionnaire before we like let people go on Mars? Where they, it's like you know, which um, Harry Potter house do you go to, Hogwarts house? Yeah, it's like a Buzzfeed quiz. It's a Buzzfeed quiz, and we identify the whiners and the gamers. Oh, yeah. When someone comes in and they're like, oh, there's like twenty questions. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't, I don't think we need to worry about you uh, answering any more of those questions there, buddy. It's all right, Fuck you off. win. No questions for you. No more questions. Yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, we have 36 potential. Can we get Henry Cavill to come? Yeah. Sexy nerd celebrity. Yeah. If we get that, the magic trio. Yeah, then, I don't then care we about make the... him king of Mars. Henry Cavill, he can be king of Mars. Um, yeah, I don't particularly care about anyone's gender here. Just, I want sexy. Um, All flavors of sexy. Rugged. Give some rugged people. Mm, 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 mm. Just sexy. Maybe a celebrity. I see no celebrity. Just sexy. <laughs> we need one celebrity. Yeah? Yeah. Because that, that's the one that we know is Henry Cavill. We can keep track of him and what he's doing. Oh, okay. Sure. Cool. Okay. Um, launch. Boom. Yeah, just pick. Pick out of some of those. Let's have a... Um, the sexy <laughs> sexy <laughs> place. Um, so they're still going to build that. Power should be fine. Water. I might just need more Water. But that's okay, because we have a little water generator, a moisture vaporizer I never built. Um, just plug it in there. Uh, so this is um, really good if um, like an asteroid or something lands near here, oh, or one of yeah. these explodes. Because that's everything that's keeping everyone alive, right? Yep. Everyone will <laughs> die. <laughs> um, Yikes. Have we got enough food to feed everyone? Uh, they'll turn up with a little bit of food. Okay. Um, <laughs> They've all got their little pack lunches. They turn up with pack lunches. Ready for Celebrity Love Island. And then we've just got like... Just hope for the best. Just boxes and boxes of kangaroo anuses, right? Kangaroo anuses? Yeah, that's what they do in the jungle. They all have to eat, eat, the, eat the bum hole. Eat the bum hole. Or Is that they what they're doing out? this year? That's what they always do in the Australian I always just eat those big grubs. Yeah, sometimes it's bugs. The bugs or butts? <laughs> bugs or butts, that's it. You choose. What do you rather rather be eating? Oh, they've oh. already got some gross. I'd eat the bugs. Uh, okay, well this is all looking pretty good. Um, but to remind people how cool I am... I'll put that right in the middle though, surely. No, not allowed. Oh. Not on this one. Unbuildable area. Uh, but, oh. Come. Wow, All the statues. Oh, just the statue district. All statues of me. Are they all of you? I was going to say one for each member of the colony, but no, no. All of Tom. You have to walk through the forest of Tom. Yeah, all like in different poses, <laughs> remembering different, different things I did. Wow. This is the time he made a YouTube video. This yep. is the time he did a live stream. <laughs> Here is him pooping. Here's him winning at Benga. Here's him winning at Benga. Um, wow, 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 wow. Let's see, wait, these ones, these ones are weird. I think just two, two lots of them pointing inwards. Because everyone lives in the uh, houses at the back there. Mm -hmm. 
and they look out of their windows and just see a whole load of Toms just staring at them. Yeah, do it for him. The do it for say. him. <laughs> Work more. You've had enough to eat today. Yeah. Tom has told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think this will be good. <laughs> very humble, limiting myself to only two statue districts. I know, That's two right. out of six. Very restrained. Very restrained. Um, I knew the pub should have been between them. Because then you have to walk past all of the statues to get to uh, <laughs> get to the get to the pub. Um, you sir, why are we? We not not making enough water. Mm, we're breaking even. Well, we should probably have a little bit of excess water in case something goes wrong. Yeah, probably smart. If oh. you're a nerd, chat is suggesting we we get Henry Cavill on the Jingle Jam next year. Well, if you know Henry Cavill, let him know. Ask him for us. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd be very happy to have Henry Cavill on one of our streams. We can do a, we, we could play Warhammer with him. We could play Warhammer with him. Uh, I'd be down with that. He's been dropping more Warhammer references on his Instagram recently. Really? I think he's angling for a part if they ever do a film. He wants to be the Emperor. Yeah. When they... Cause at some point, they're going to do the fucking Horus Heresy, I can imagine. He'd be amazing as the Emperor. Um, he could be, be a lot of people, though, to be honest. Giant, chiseled, handsome man could play a lot of people. Oh, he's so handsome, Ben. He's so handsome. Can we get parts? Can we be in it? Um, yeah, we can be servitors. Ooh, you know what? I'd take it. I'd <laughs> yeah. 100, I would 100% do that. <laughs> Uh, oh, mm. the rocket's here. Um, what we can do as well. Just oh, make the, them walk. Yeah, make <laughs> them walk real far. Oh, oh wait. Maybe he should just do the Eddie Murphy trick where he plays all the parts. Okay, I'm, yeah, I think that makes sense. All, all the Primarchs. Oh, welcome. Welcome, our brave, brave adventurers. Milestone achieved. <laughs> Uh, I don't think a Warhammer movie would have the budget for Mr. Cavill. Which one's the celebrity? Uh, Party animal? Founder? Oh vegan? Wait a second. That one's a nerd. They're not sexy, Tom. Oh, no. You promised me sexy people. Oh, I did it bad. This person's a gamer. There's lots of nerds. I didn't. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a sexy one. Okay. Composed, founder, sexy. Okay, we've got one sex. This is going to be the worst love Mars ever. Uh, <laughs> oh, they're sexy. Okay. They're sexy. Okay. Sexy hippie. And okay. they're sexy as well. Okay, like half of them are sexy. Oh, feels well, bad you, for the other half. Well, you half. want a bit of like fodder to get rid of, you know. Oh, okay. The red shirts. That just... You know, you want everyone to be able to watch this and be like, oh, maybe I could go on there one year. <laughs> right. Um, Make it feel attainable. Oh, and that's a good point, actually. Chat says if everyone is sexy, no one is. Very true. Because it's all relative, right? You, you, the, the sexy people won't feel sexy unless there's other regular folk to compare them to. Yeah. 100%. Um, but here they are. They're coming along. They have to walk. They have to walk a long way. Oh my god! Yeah, but you know you can do that Mars bounce because yeah. of the low gravity. Right? It's fun they're having. That is fun. Skipping, skipping to work. Not an entrance. <laughs> and then one of them the did, airlock. Oh, just straight in. And uh, why do some of them have money above their heads? I think it's because they don't have jobs. Oh. Um, but we can sort that out. You guys, you're okay. Boom. Uh. Get those people to work. Please. Please. Uh, Nate Palmer has donated. Thank you, Nate Palmer. It says, big love to the Oxcast for TTT and the other streams for getting me through the last two years of madness. I'm loving the Yorhammer Lawhammer. I just got back into Warhammer with my friend after not playing since second edition. Wow. Wow. Oh, so they, they just must think all the things we say are true then, if they've not been keeping up. <laughs> yeah, that's a long time. Um... <laughs> For there to be a lot of nonsense. Yeah. I select a new crop. Oops. You're welcome, Napalm. I'm glad you enjoy the content. What do you want? Microgreens? Sure. Is that not how it works? I just want more 
people. Ah, oh, heck, whatever. Um, Callum Beck. Callum Bakester has donated, thank you, and says, congratulations on bringing some sexy back to Mars. Keep up the good work, fellas. That's what we're doing. We are. We are bringing sexy back. And um, we've got people. People living here. My statues are complete. Okay. Are they going to survive? Like, if we left them alone now, are they self-sufficient? Yeah, for a while, they'd be okay. Are they making and growing enough food? Food's fine. Yeah, they've got enough food for... 10 souls? 10? Um, okay, ten, 10 years of food. That's not bad. They're not, they're not really uh, producing at the moment. But, um, yeah. Good job, Tom. You, I, you, honestly, I didn't think you'd, uh, you'd manage it. I thought the challenge was was un, unachievable, but you did it. Well, I'm a professional speed, speed run now. Should we put this on the website? Log it. Yeah get my colonists it took us like an hour I'm pretty sure you could do this in yeah, much faster the point is minutes. no one else has so technically Boom. number one we start our own category on there <laughs> yeah. that's what they do with the Guinness Book of Records all the time you see people just going okay well someone has put 47,000 pegs on their face but no one's put any pegs on their face while hanging upside down by their feet so I'm going to just put 10 and hang upside down bam Guinness Book of Records oh I've got a, I've got a record <laughs> yeah no one's done it while clapping. <laughs> um, uh, oh, cannot reach the food. That is a good point. They why, cannot reach the food. Why can't they reach the food? Because I'm a bad the boy. Oh, the food's food. on the rocket, and the rocket's too far away. Yeah. <laughs> um, Shit. They're oops. all going to die. Okay. Kind of bad, but I can solve it. Truckbot. Truckbot needs to do it. Go on, Truckbot. Okay, Truckbot just needs to bring food into uh, the zone. Wow, would they rather starve than walk back to the ship? Yep. Is that what they're saying? Yep, people are pretty picky. They're just going to lie there in bed with their, like, Deliveroo app running, going, Oh, oh please! I refuse to walk <laughs> one minute to, to get my food. That's sexy people for you. Yeah. Used to having it all delivered. Um, but now the robots the robots have gone to pick it up um, they'll slowly deliver it and uh, we'll all be super good Very. damn you sexy lazy people <laughs> damn you to hell what a fun little town you've made yeah spinners are spinning scrapers are scraping just like the sexy people no you're not sexy I care not for you uh Sexy. What does sexy even do for them? Oh, increases birth rate. Oh. Cool. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, it's been fueled. Oh, you can send it home. Yeah, get out of here. Mars Goodbye. The rocket that we came on is great. It's you know, home. we're sending it back. We're doing good. It's like recycling your um. Those plastic cartons of your takeaways come in. Mm hmm. You just give them back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Farewell, it's my sweet rocket. Goodbye. If you're too good for this world, please tell them. Tell them of our struggles. Tell them. Send, send Henry Cavill. Send Henry Cavill. Bring snacks. Park closer. Goodbye. Oh, there's so many lovely messages from you guys. Everyone who's donated has said such lovely things. I wish I could read them all out. Lots of people saying, like, this is the first time they could afford to donate, which is amazing. They said, lots of people saying they've been watching for years and they really enjoy the Jingle Jam, which is awesome. It's so good. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so very much. You guys are amazing. So this has been Surviving Mars. Yeah. Which, to be honest, is almost worth the price of the bundle on its own. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's a whole, it's a whole game. It's a whole um, big, proper game, uh, which you can get for £35, along with 55 other games. Um, also, like, just on Surviving Mars, there's a ton of mods and stuff. Like, you've only seen the tip of the iceberg here. Mm. Um, there's a ton of mods and stuff for this game. There's some DLCs that are very, very good. Very fun. Highly recommend. Um, yeah. Like, if you've never played this before and you like kind of a bit of um, city management and stuff like that, it's great. It's really, really good. Um, 
cannot recommend it highly enough. So I'd say get the bundle just for this. Um, yeah. And then you get a million other other cool games. Yeah, you get you get over eight hundred and seventy five dollars worth of games. Wow. So if you haven't already, please buy the bundle. And if, yeah. you, and if you already have, and maybe you can afford a few more bucks, you could just chuck in a couple of more bucks. Because look at that. We 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 got goals. We got dreams. We want to help so many people. Yeah. With your help, we can do it. That's the dream. Wow. We we raised forty thousand pounds this morning, Tom. Amazing. Thank we you. couldn't have done it without all of you. All of you amazing people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right, next up, we've got the, the Yogscast official Mario Kart tournament. Place bets now. Who will win? You decide. <laughs> so stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some Mario Kart racing. We'll see you in five. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.